Okay. Hey, Gander. Welcome. <sighs> Hello, Larry. Chaos. Mr. Cole. Yeah, hands better today. It's uh it's usually not too bad most days. Though now that we're we're gonna be doing a fighting game, probably gonna get much worse. Hey you dude. Valid poll ID. What the hell? Oh, duh. It's not strawpoll.com. That would be why. There's apparently strawpoll.com and strawpoll.me. Two completely separate things, apparently. Sure. All right. Okay. Just pulling up the, the polka. The poke poll for uh, for the second half of the stream here on which uh, which starting Pokemon I'm going to use for the Pokemon Blue playthrough. The correct choice is Squirtle. I haven't checked what the results are, but apparently choosing Charmander is like the the hardest starter to go with. So apparently, a lot of people voted for Charmander. Char Charmander? Is Charmander the, the starter? I don't even... I know Bulbasaur, but is it Charmander, Charizard, Char Tortle? I don't know. <laughs> That's how little I know about Pokemon. <laughs> Make the first gym sucks. Oh, th yeah, that's right. That's right. Because it's... Pewter City is rock type. Love Lettuce. I don't think I've ever used... I, I've tried to beat Pokemon Blue, God, probably like a half dozen times over the course of my life. The farthest, I like, usually the farthest I get in playthroughs is, uh, like, Gym 3, maybe? Like, I don't even get to the Electrical Gym. And then the farthest I've made it recently was, uh, uh... The fire gym, maybe? I think? I can't remember, but not very far, usually most days. <laughs> so this is this is it. For the first time in twenty plus years. Finally gonna gonna beat Pokemon. I've certainly watched a shitload of, of speedruns of Pokemon Red <laughs> over the years. <laughs> like I've seen that game beaten probably triple digit times at this point. But never beaten it myself so that's that's on the to-do list and then all the rest of them too except for i'm probably not going to do um the pokemon stadium games because those those don't really interest me as much but uh, pokemon snap we're definitely going to do at some point uh and then the other mainline titles because i have all of them except for uh i don't have the most recent one on switch which i'll, I'll probably get sometime in the future but not now because you know it can wait. All right. Large amount of yellow. Yeah, yellow is actually the first one that I owned. Um, I I got a Game Boy... A, a Game Boy Color, but it was like the, the see-through one. So I think it was called the Game Boy Crystal when it came out. Um, and I got uh, Pokemon Yellow. And then I also got, I think, Mario Golf. And... Oh, did I even get any other games besides those two? It might have been just those two that I got at a good guys store uh, way back when. This would have been like 2001, I think, is when I got it with Pokemon Yellow. 
and yeah, never, <laughs> never beat it. I think I probably played more Mario Golf than I played of, of Pokemon Yellow, but, but yep. So that's uh, that's on the to-do list. I think Mario Golf might actually be on the, the to-do list too. I haven't, I'm not sure about that, but there's there's hundreds of games on that to-do list, so maybe it'll end up there at some point. <clears throat> okay. All right. So I figured out why my input monitor wasn't working uh, for the last stream last night. That's because uh, the little devices that I use are called Teensies. These little circuit boards that um, I plug the controllers into and then pass along the inputs to the the console. Um, I plug those in through USB to my main uh, gaming PC. And for whatever reason, in the last few days, the USB serial just stopped working on those. So I thought like I thought the boards were dead and I had to buy some more because maybe I shorted out with them. I I've been doing some electrical work lately and maybe I, I blew them up accidentally. Uh, and then I plugged them into my laptop and then they just worked. So there there's something screwed up with the drivers on my main PC and I'll worry about that some other day. Um, but for now, I have them plugged into another computer and I'm just rerouting signals through the network. So we, we will have input capture for this. And uh, it's just add another thing that I got to look into off stream. God, it never ends. It's always something that I have to either look into or fix uh, for the stream. But in any case, we're good to go for tonight at least. Okay, so let's get started. Cardinal Sin, PS Explosion number 199. PlayStation 98 fighting game. This is by Kronos Digital Entertainment, published by 989 Studios. Uh, I think... I think Kronos is... I think they were a SoCal developer. Now I think about it. So 989 Studios is um, uh, based out of San Diego. Uh, I actually very briefly worked there uh, in the area where they were <laughs> in like 2000... Uh, 2008, I want to say, I think, is when that happened. So that that was a weird time, um, and yeah, this uh, this game actually looks pretty neat. So let's uh, let's take a look at this. All right, Cardinal Sin. So we got pretty cool logo treatment. We got sure we got some cool CG on it. 99 Studios M for mature, and then ask for forgiveness. You're about to commit the ultimate sin. Sin with a Y. A brutal battle to the death. Only one warrior will survive, but not before experiencing excruciating pain and suffering. Key features. Torture, mutilation, ridges of blood, bestial howls. Definitely not for the weak at heart. Real time, true 360 degree 3D fighting action. You're about to face the ugliest fate possible to any living being. Get excited. Hundreds of complex precision moves and combos. Amazing razor tight controls. Only the skilled will make the kill. 18 warriors in all, including two secret sins. Uh, there's actually three? Three or four, I think. Um, according to the, the FAQ I found, uh, each of the d unique, distinct look, magic, projectiles, lethal weapons, and individual fighting styles, living death chambers. You may not die, but you'll probably wish you did. Okay. And then we got some screenshots here. Those, uh, those look pretty good. Those look pretty good. So I'm pretty sure this is a PlayStation exclusive. Um, I think that uh, I was mistaken the other day when I said that this was also on PC because uh, I was thinking of Dark Rift, I think, was what I was mixing this up with, which, sure, sure, fine. Uh, one to two players, uh, six to 12 memory card blocks. I'm, I'm not sure why a fighting game needs that many. There must be some, like a create a character maybe or something weird there because... Because that's a lot. That's a lot for a fighting game. Um, who knows? So maybe we'll figure that out by the end of this. And it's also a variable 6 to 12. So... Hell if I know. Uh, Multi-tap adaptable. So this is the... There's... Let's say less than 30 or so games on the system. Mostly sports games that, that use this multi-tap adapter. So this turns one controller port on the PlayStation into four controller ports with memory card slots for each. So if you have two of those, that's that's eight, uh, eight going at once. But I, I don't see how a game like this would work with eight players at the same time. I, I don't know. Uh, analog control compatible, vibration function compatible. So just so DualShock, it works with DualShock. Uh, and I don't see anything else weird on here. Chronos, yep. 
So M for mature, animated violence, animated blood, and gore. Sure. Uh, and then the behind the disc artwork is this. Uh, this is the Phoenix Mirror from Shenmue. So this is officially a Shenmue title. There we go. Predate Shenmue, but it's officially Shenmue. And then the disc looks like that. It's just... I, I think it's supposed to be fire at the bottom, but the fire isn't the red part of the disc. So... Sure. Or it's like, it, it's blood dripping down the camera, maybe? Or it's a save icon for Tiny Tank. It could be any of those. <laughs> sure. Okay. So I don't have a manual for this game because there there just isn't one online, and conveniently I don't have one. Uh, so we got this amazing. There we go. Yeah, here's our manual. This is all we need. <laughs> so this is. Uh, um, I read through a lot of this, and uh, this game is essentially. Uh, uh, What's it? Soul Caliber. This game plays like Soul Caliber. So all the. Um, the move, move sets, move lists, and all that, it's, it's sure. And then here's all the cheat codes for, for Sin to be playable and Kron to be playable. And then there's also another one. There's an unlock all characters thing. And, and also there's a thing here, which we'll totally use that, uh, um, see the endings instead of the intro for each character. So that one, that one we're going to do. That one we're going to do. Uh, and then here's all the, the move list is all down here. So the, the notation that they use for this is a little bizarre. So it's U, D, F, and B for up, down, forward, and, and back. And, uh, it's, um, it's a little weird. So like, here's the, here's the move list. It's like B plus X and then T. <laughs> okay. Like, I, there's probably a better way they could have notated that, but. We'll deal with it, you know? We'll deal with it. Okay, so let's uh let's get going here, shall we? Alright. Cardinal Sin, huh? So I'm gonna be playing this on a uh, a regular controller here. Um I just realized that I need to I need to crop this, which I will do once we get into the game. Uh using a regular controller. Uh, not going to use the stick because this is this is like a, a 3D type game, and those typically a pad will generally work just as good. And I don't want to destroy my hands, so we'll uh, we'll go with this. Okay, I need to apply a crop here. There we go. All right. All right. So welcome, welcome in, folks. I missed a lot of chat towards the beginning, but hope you all having a fantastic day and are ready for some incredible cardinal sinning. It is said when chaos reigned long ago, a cloaked man appeared and began walking the ravaged earth. This man, now named the Wanderer carried with him a book that contained great and boundless secrets. After the Wanderer's arrival, civilization flourished, and the clans raised flags bearing his symbol of unity. Wait, is it the Wonder? ...reigned for many years throughout the land. The Wanderer? ...believing that his peaceful teachings were concluded, gathered the clans together, transformed his book, and disappeared. The clan member's shock expired as quickly as the Wanderer's word, and the clans returned to their brutal practices. Oh, the Wanderer. Okay. I thought they, it said one perer. ...the Black Land as <laughs> unity and alliance were substituted with greed and malevolence. Complete annihilation was inevitable. In the midst of one of the most bloody battles, a blinding flash suddenly suspended all warfare. In the center of this explosive light stood the cloaked figure of a woman. Man, look at that hair. ...was stunned as the woman held the almost forgotten symbol of unity high for all to see. 
It was then that the clan leaders were gathered and instructed to present their invaluable scrolls. Those who were present at this gathering have related a strange tale filled with inexplicable power. A tale that is only concluded when the woman magically turned the scrolls into inscripted swords. This woman is Sin. Let the grand tournament begin. And preparation for the grand tournament began as the contestants were ready for combat. Each fought to the death until only one was triumphant. This champion rose to Sin's temple to claim his right to rule the Bloodland. He was never again to be seen. seen for decades. Only a distant glowing light from her temple betrays her presence. The weapons of Trinity await a new champion. The time for a grand tournament has arrived. Sir. Hey, Gorilla. Good to see you. Okay. Well, that was a whole lot of lore. Sure. All right. Cardinal Sin. Okay. So you got tournament. My input monitor not working. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Amazing. Oh, this fucking thing. Driving me crazy. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Let's just turn that off for today. Okay. Alright. So we got training, options, versus tournament. Alright. What do we got here? Alright. Normal, hard, ultra hard, easy. All right, we'll keep that on normal. 60 to sure. Okay. All right, what do we got here? Analog cal. Oh! They, uh... All right, I'm gonna hit the analog button here. Oh, hold on. All right, it's an analog mode. Okay. Sure. All right, overhead, side, low, block, jump, shove, roam. Okay. So this is pretty much Soul Calibur from the looks of things. Okay. vibration on against my better judgment. Sure. Alright, do our initial save and then... Okay. Alright, go. Okay. Save, okay. Alright, so I, I guess I'll count deaths in this game as... Uh, Losing two rounds. And that'll that'll probably be fine. Alright, let's throw it into training mode here just to get a feel for the controls. Let's see what we got. Alright, we got Orion, Pinkster, Vanguard, Plague, Mongoro. Krieg. <laughs> that's that's quite the the intense stare he's got. Uh, Nephra, Heklar, sure, and back to Orion. All right, well Orion's the the default, so sure. Vanguard, and then random. Okay.
All right, so triangle, square, and X were attack buttons. Okay. So we're using, what, Orion? Where is the... There's also fatalities in this game. Malek, Duro, Longwan, Nefra, Orion. Okay. All right. So that's triangle, square, X, block. Okay. So back in triangle. Oh, okay. So it does, uh... It changes camera angles for special attacks. But only if they connect. Okay. And then projectile is down, down triangle. Oh, you gotta be really quick at that. Okay. All right, magic attack is up, up R1. Okay. So I guess, I guess that's another difference with the... Uh, with Soul Calibur, is that projectiles are a thing in this one. And also there's no ring out. So it looks like all the... So those are different. You can also hit opponents while they're down in this, and I'm not sure that's a Soul Calibur thing. It's been a long time since I played Soul Calibur. Okay, and you can also, so they can they can get hit on uh, on the walls of uh, of arenas. Okay, so for extra damage, so that's that's a DOA thing, I think. I think that's a series that mostly has that. All right, juggle starters are triangle, triangle, and then you can you can juggle from there. Which, sure. Uh, so that's a combo, apparently. I think we're we're probably good to go. Let's do this. Okay. So I guess we're going to tournament mode cuz that's that's probably the story mode. Well, let's do it. Let's do it as butt lady. for battle. Got the important bits protected there. Most of them. <laughs> okay. Uh, 1999. Begin! <laughs> Shit, there's a chest over here. Okay. Got him. Interesting. 
Begin. And there's also the a potion icon there. I think that I'm not sure if that's if that's rounds one or not. Also, another thing I I didn't mention from the manual is that uh, if you hit the circle button during an attack or during the uh, the enemy's attack, you can counter attack. Yeah, the sword is probably rounds one, but there's also to the left of that a magic attack. And yeah, it's um, apparently the magic attack can only be used once during a fight. Um, and I'm not sure if that's for the whole fight or just for a round. So it's up, up, and R1. Yeah, it's the, uh, it's the magic attack. Begin! Alright, well, we both... Alright, juggle successful. There's our one juggle for the entire playthrough. Okay. Alright, so the AI for this character likes to roll around a lot, apparently. Begin! So this is holding down the, the L2 button lets you do this. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Alright, the slow moving minecart. Got him. <laughs> Love it. This this game is not bad so far, by the way. I I like the combat system in this. I'm sure there's a lot more depth that I'm not even going to scratch the surface of, but uh Begin. I think this is neat. Oh shit. The design of the the design around the health bar indicators, yeah. I like uh I, I think they did a great job with like everything <laughs> graphically in this game so far. It uh, it runs good from the looks of things, it's responsive enough. Um it's got a unique look to it. That like uh thinking back to something kinda similar was uh War Gods. War Gods looked a whole lot more generic than this one did, and it certainly played more generic. <laughs> IMO. Did he just fart on me?
So death is losing two rounds. Begin. So the getting hit by the the little fire thing there did more damage than my my whole attack did to this guy. Dude. And I got killed through a block. Nice. Okay. All right. Looks like infinite continues. Begin. Yeah, that fire is no joke. It looks like. So it's once per once per round you can use magic in the looks of things. Oh shit. Fight me on the fire here. Get him. Get. Oh, come on. Okay. It looks like there's there's damage to the player model as well. It looks like a uh, there's blood that appears on him. Okay. Okay, there's a counterattack. So you have to hit circle right when they attack. Okay. So the... The regular magic projectile doesn't do that much more than a uh, a regular projectile does yeah that the sword power up is uh, a bit much Okay. 
All right, so it looks like this uh, Nefra has Begin. more projectiles than the others do. Right, stay away from those pillars. That healing. Okay. All right. That's that's fucked up. That they could just heal half their life back, just like that. Begin. Come on, get out of the way. So you gotta start, the second you hit the ground in this game, you have to start rolling, or else they will get you. Oh. Yeah, I should just go directly to the... Alright. Hold down that run button. Let's get the sword. And give him the... Oh, no! <laughs> uh. Okay, well... The get the sword plan did not quite work. We're getting... We're getting Digoed here. sure what I can really do about the uh, the AI just carrying me. Okay, can I just can I just do this? Do they not expect the the jumps? And then, of course, just heal up all the damage that I did. have to cheese out this round. Okay. <laughs> oh man, she's getting really bloody. Begin. I blocked there. Come on. Come on. <laughs> this game is so unforgiving with with getting off the ground. Alright, we're gonna have to 
wait out the sword, I guess. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. This game gets a lot, ramps up the, the difficulty much sooner than some other fighting games do. Stand next to that pillar. What? No. Yo. All right. That's that's some bullshit there. The CPU is clearly next to it. What? How would it? <laughs> Begin. This. This ain't fair. This is... I am mashing the shit out of that that get up button. And half the time it just doesn't do anything. Oh boy. Okay. Alright, now that I see how halfway through tournament mode on normal is, let's just <laughs> let's drop this to fucking easy. I'm not gonna spend hours of my life running into this wall head first. I'm gonna do this, and I'm not at all gonna feel bad about it, because fuck this. Alright. And there's two difficulties above that. There's hard and ultra hard. So, she it. I don't even want to know. Don't even want to know what those are like. Okay. And it does look like you can turn off hazards and pickups if you wanted the the true 1v1 experience. Alright, let's try a different character here. Um, let's try... Kingster, Vanguard, Plague... Krieg, Nefra... Alright, let's try Heklar. All right, what is Heklar's deal? Oh my God. Okay. By the way, looking at the combo list uh, or the move list for Heklar, like all the moves are way more complicated than Orion's moves. Good lord. Like projectiles up up R1, which is the magic for Orion. Pandemonium guy. Begin.
Right. Yep, this is a crossover that everybody wanted. Pandemonium and Soul Calibur. Okay. Hello, Zippy. All right. So just the map screen is 480i in this game for some reason. It, it doesn't need to be because there's not much to that map screen, but sure. Begin! Dude. The plague? Oh, okay, so that, uh... So there's, there's a, the hazard for this level is this, uh... Oh, shit. Game is already giving me the business. This is uneasy, by the way. I feel I should note. <laughs> this is on a lower difficulty. Uh. So if you if you touch the the green liquid, it poisons you, apparently. yourself to death. Nice. Okay. Sure. Yeah, it probably isn't, Zach. I don't know how many, um, so Kronos Digital, this isn't their first, uh, this isn't their first fighting game. There's there is a really jank looking game they made before this Begin. that now that I think about it, I, that's where I recognize the name from. They made this like Greek God fighting game on PS1 that looked really bad. Uh, I forgot what it was. So easy difficulty sure feels a whole lot like normal still to me. Alright. Seems I could just do that over and over. Begin! Yeah, it's it's reacting to my inputs, but it, it doesn't know how to react to to down X and then triangle. And then just run into... Oh. Yes, run into that. Oh, dang it. Maybe I could just down X triangle to the victory here. So far, so good. Alright. Begin. All right, so this is this is where the game started giving me the business on normal. And it looks like it's going to be the same thing here. Dude. 
Dude. <laughs> Just like that. Uh, sure. Begin. This is. I have a feeling that difficulty slider just doesn't do anything, because this is this is just as difficult as normal was. <laughs> it's even doing the exact same like type of attack. <laughs> If this game is going to be like this, then Begin. this is going to be a short, a short PS explosion segment with Cardinal Sin, because a properly balanced fighting game, you should not have to feel like you're playing against a pro player at all times. Good lord. <laughs> This is on easy, and it just took- <laughs> It's just- <laughs> Begin! <sighs> I I'm hitting block that whole time, by the way. Yeah, put it on ultra hard and see what happens. Oh boy. Yeah, it's just it this game does quite quite the input reads. Begin! Like oh. Either that or like it, it didn't properly set the difficulty is another possibility. Trying to get the health potion. There we go. Okay, this guy makes a, jing a jangling sound when he runs, and that's that's perfect. That's all I needed. Yep. So there there were certain fighting games that I thought, like, sure, this is. This is strict but fair. This game just goes straight for... For... Hey, I'm gonna read all your inputs on stage four onwards. Good luck. I hope you played this game for years on end every single day. Because good luck otherwise. <laughs> Okay, what well, if we stick and move here? And just run away? Alright, sticking and moving did not quite work either. Okay, let's let's see, just for science sake, what Ultra Hard looks like. And see if it's still as big in a bullshit as that is. Uh Yeah, that's on easy. That's on easy. <laughs> okay, ultra hard. What's uh like maybe I have to all right, I'm hitting the X button here, and maybe that commits it. But, like, actually no difference between easy and normal.
Okay. So let's see. Let's see Pinkster's opening. Yeah, if difficulty doesn't affect tournament mode, then that would also that would also be its own special kind of fucked, because they like clearly they put a lot of work into these these cutscenes for each uh hey! each thing here. And then they make everything else just so fucking difficult that you can't even see all the cool stuff they made for this game. Like, <laughs> uh, begin. All right, so we're on ultra hard now. <laughs> Combo yourself right into that minecart. So this is this is definitely more difficult than the than the first fight in easy and normal. So I think it is actually properly doing upward difficulty. Let's run into the minecart. Sure. Begin. Uh, I would have been quite upset if you can start off the fight getting hit by the minecart. Alright. Minecart has done more damage. Okay. Where do we enter in these cheats? Entered at the Cardinal Sin screen with the press start flashing on the screen. Okay. Z endings instead of intro for characters. Okay. Alright, so we'll see the ending for... Uh... Let's start from the top here for Orion. Alright, here's Orion's ending. So this is the ending you get after playing a thousand hours of Cardinal Sin to get good enough to beat stage five. That is the incredible ending that you get. Wow. All right. Begin. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see the other ones. And then I'm done with this game, by the way. <laughs> Just <laughs> a, a game that is this unapologetically difficult is not going to get any more time from me than necessary, because fuck that. Fuck that. All right. So hopefully that, that code is still in effect here. Uh, no, it isn't, Inver. That's, uh, that's a bug that I tried to fix, but for whatever reason, it isn't, it isn't updating. So don't worry about it. It updates itself after every uh, every game that we do, though. Okay, so this should be Finks Finkster's ending. 
it is updating in the background, but it isn't updating that time it's up there, so whatever. It's another thing that doesn't work on my stream. <laughs> Spells of the Z. Alright, incredible ending. That one is better, at least. Well, you'll just have to imagine the... the 1337 hours. We're actually already past that. Where we are currently in 1337 hours. In. And actually, I might be able to, uh... Alright, hold up. If I stop the timer... And then... If we go back to this... And then... Reload... Will it say 1337? Yeah, there we go. Alright. <laughs> there you go. It'll, it'll be leap for the... For the rest of the stream there. There you go. Just for you. Alright. That's that's the one thing one good thing that's gonna come out of this. <laughs> Is that we did it. We we hit the the sex number. 1337. Everybody's favorite. Okay. That was an ending. Sure. They should have just gone full Tekken and just made these nonsense. Always go full Tekken with your, your fighting game enemy endings. All right, wait. There was a Morrowind sound effect. And that, that was the ending. Okay. Boy, am I glad I didn't actually play this game. Begin! So, all right. I was about to, to say what I actually liked about this game, but we'll, we'll get to that in the wrap-up, which is coming very soon. I don't think I'll unlock the secret characters with the, the button code just to leave something for somebody else to look up if, if you desired. <laughs> but there's like four other characters that are that are locked. But at this point, I just don't give enough of a shit to, to look it up. Okay. Oh man. So so far I think Finkster has the best ending. 
Begin! And yeah, there, there's always hope that, that Hecklar will have a good one. But so far, yeah, the only actually good ending has been Binkster. All right, McCrieg. Is it going to be intense staring into the camera for 15 seconds? That would be better than some of the other endings. Well, kind I, I was kind of right. And then he chops down a tree for some reason. Maybe that would make more sense if we saw the opening Begin. movie for McCree, but we'll leave that up to the imagination. Yeah, that, that tree looked at him funny, I guess. Sure. That's not how you hold a sword. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, then. Sure? Hentai ending? Sure. Alright, it's probably for the best. That one did make it into the dank base. <laughs> All right, Heckler, this one better be the best. Don't disappoint me, Heckler. You have one less chance to impress me, Cardinal Sin. This better be good. That one, that one was the best, probably. Sure. I think that's it for the the characters. Begin. Yeah, that that one, that one told a story at least. Only a few of them told a story. I think that's yep okay all right what what is the save icon for cardinal sin going to be place your bets uh if i were making a save icon for this game uh an amulet a sword 
It might be that uh, you know that uh, the mirror thing, the 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 dragon mirror that was part of the lore or something in the the opening cutscene. I have a feeling it's that because circular. It's you could easily do something like that with a uh, limited uh, limited pixels to work with. Evil woman face. Red S. Yeah, it could be a red S. That would be the low effort option. Okay. Let's see what it is. And? Oh, it's just sin on a piece of paper. <laughs> okay. Yep, it's just sin on some parchment. Nice and simple. So there, there's a little bit of detail there. Just a little bit. Not much, though. Okay. Let's get rid of that one, shall we? Oh, jeez. Okay. Can cut the timer on that one right there. We are never playing that one again. Oh, boy. All right. Cardinal Sin. What a video game. All right. Completed. Fuck no. Cheated. Yes. And even then... Things I liked. Uh, cool visual style. Um, let's see. Uh, Soul Calibur style gameplay. Um, let's see. Uh, unique arena mechanics. A decent selection of fighters. Um, FMVs for every intro and ending for every character. Uh, so I do appreciate, I do appreciate that they put the effort into that. Um, let's see. Uh, a lot of depth for every character. So the. When I say that, like, looking at the move list for each character, each character has, like, 20 moves and combos it can do. Uh, in addition to the regular basic bitch um, triangle, square, and, and X attacks. So there's, there's a lot to learn for each character. And each character has its own completely separate moves. It's not like, okay, the to do a, a projectile attack with every character, it's up, up, and R1. No, like, for some, the projectile attack is is down, down, and then triangle. Some it's up, up, and then triangle. Some it's down, down, and R1. Like, there there really is no no common move set for each, uh, each character, it looks like. So, like, good luck learning all of these characters. And also, good luck finding somebody else to play this game with you, because, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, have fun with that. All right, uh, things I didn't like. Actually, everything else. Um... Uh, Got stupid difficult very early on in the tournament mode, despite being on very easy mode. Or I guess just regular easy mode, but sure. Uh, even if they put in a very easy mode, it probably would still be just as difficult as hard mode is. She it. All right. Thank memes. Sure. Let's not even going to bother with that one. Drones of the base. Uh, I'm going to say no. I didn't. I don't recall hearing any. And Ayla Mouse. We saw all the endings, well, well, most of the endings. We didn't see the secret character endings, and I didn't see anything looking like an Ada Mal. Closest would have been Hecklar, but he's just he's just weird, so... Nope, not an Ada Mal. Alright, difficulty? Yep. So if... If you have difficulty settings in your game, and if the easy difficulty... If, if you can't mash your way even halfway through the story mode in the game, then that's that's unacceptable. <laughs> Like, some games in the normal difficulty, you could mash your way through through normal all the way to the end and maybe have trouble with the final boss or two. Um, in this game, shit, you can't even get like a third of the way through it. And I wasn't even trying to mash in a lot of cases. I was just trying to defend in a lot. 
like hitting the block button and it was just combo city so man they they screwed up <laughs> in balancing this game um uh, all right so so that aside i think this game does have merit though so it, it's a great looking game it performed nicely like it's it's locked at 30 which is fine um 30 fps you can you can get away with with a uh, 3d fighting game um mechanically i do like that there's a lot of depth to this game there's a lot of characters and like i mentioned before there's each of them have their own enormous move sets that uh, that you can master for all of them i do like that they put in a lot of work for the um the extras alongside the game so there's the uh the intros and endings all unique for each character even though they're like 10 seconds long and make almost no sense still at least they did it a lot of fighting games don't do that um, so we got the tournament mode, the survival mode, two-player mode, uh, training mode, which training mode, a lot of games don't have that either. Um, so that's at least something. They went a little bit further than most like arcade port fighting games would do. Uh, I do like that it's it's um, the Soul Calibur style of fighting game for 3D fighting games. Like, like generally, they either play like, like Tekken like Virtua Fighter or Soul Calibur. Those are kind of the three big ones, really, for uh, traditional fighters. And I tend to prefer the Soul Calibur types, which is why I'm pretty bummed that this one ended up being such a pain to play because I I like this kind of fighting game. Like, this this is the, the, the best of the three as far as I'm concerned of the types. And it just sucks that they, they made it so unforgiving to play that I can't even properly enjoy it, you know? Um, but I do see that they, I do see the effort they put into this. And perhaps if you're, if you're way better at fighting games than I am, which is most people, uh, maybe you can get more enjoyment out of it. Uh, there is a lot to this game, but, uh, if your game is so hard that I can't even properly enjoy it, then good Lord, the, the most I can give it is a two out of five. Like, come on, at least give a player the players of all skill levels a chance to see what your game's about if you're gonna lock most of your content behind this enormous difficulty curve then then nah don't do that no room for that in games all right so that's cardinal sin we called it 58 minutes in nine deaths one save single part i really wish this game weren't like that but sometimes it'd be like that all right so PS Explosion number 200 is going to be a long one from the looks of things. Uh, it is called Rhapsody, a musical adventure. Uh, Nippon Ichi, which is the uh, uh, Disgaea company. Um, I don't know if they made any games before this one. This might have been one of their earlier earlier games that they made, especially of uh, strategy RPGs. Um, but yeah, apparently this this game is, I guess, a cult classic. Like, uh, somebody on Twitter liked my tweet about it, and in their bio it was like, "I'm I'm the world's biggest Rhapsody fan" or something. In Japan, like, okay, apparently people really love Rhapsody, but I can see why with with magic spells such as the hilarious pancake attack, and also unlocalized text in the. Uh, the back of the box and also spelling errors on the back of the box so we know we're we're in for a banger here um but yeah that'll that'll be next time for rhapsody a musical adventure and yeah i have no idea how long this one's gonna be um we're uh we're gonna get through it though because now that i'm doing backlog games along the side there's no reason for me to uh to rush my way through uh through games in particular so We'll, uh, we'll take our time with this one. Okay. But now it's time to see what game number 201 is. So game PS Explosion number 201 cannot be a strategy RPG, a fighting game, or a action game. Because it was Tiny Tank, Cardinal Sin, and Rhapsody. So any of those three genres it can't be, anything else it can and this is all automatically generated by my server based off of that criteria of it just can't be any one of those three. So let's see what we got here. 
happiest explosion game number 201 is gunship 1996 flight all right so so like i mentioned when we did that uh god what was it boogie dead six um a lot of the shovelware on ps1 is flight combat games and we got we got another one here <laughs> Like, if, if the shovelware on Super Nintendo and Genesis was, like, character platformer games and shovelware on Wii and PlayStation and stuff was, like, like cooking games and My Little Pony stuff and things like that, shovelware on PlayStation is this kind of game. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, any more real, it'd be classified. Arcade mode for fast hunt and kill action. Campaign mode for hours of incredibly real helicopter combat. And uh, yeah, look at this. Like man. Look at that. This this looks pretty good. Look at that. Look at all those polygons in that helicopter. And this sick ass wing commander cockpit. Like ugh. And and I really hope it supports the the dual joystick thing. Let's see. Does it? It, it is 1996, so that that would make sense. This is an early PS1 game. And it does not support the, the dual joystick thing. Oh, boy. Okay, so that is... Uh, that's game number 201. Let me get that locked into the system here. Because I have to manually put these in. All right, gunship. Is number 201. And it just so happens we have a Pokemon remix going right now. So the, the next game that we're about to do, by the way, is uh, I'm going to show you all my Pokemans. My Pokemans. I'm going to show you them. Uh, if I can find the entry here for it. There it is. All right. Oh, not red. Blue. Shit. It must. Okay, hold up. Pokemon Blue version. There we go. There we go. Okay, we did it. All right, so I'm going to step away for a couple minutes here. I got to get um, some extra side, side stuff set up for this. But uh, finally, after, good Lord, like almost 30 years, 1998, 20... 22 years. 22 years I've been trying to play this game, and we're finally doing it. So I'll be back in a couple minutes for some Pokemon.
All right. Poker man. Let me actually change my YouTube uh, YouTube game for once. They make it not uh, not easy to do on YouTube. Uh, gaming, Poker Man, Blue. Oh my God! Of course, there's like fifty different. Where even is it? It's... There we go. Red and blue. 1996. Save. Okay. All right. Poker Man. Ermagerd. It's Poker Man. All right. So as I mentioned before, Poker Man, blue version, Game Boy, 1998 RPG, developed by Game Freak, published by Nintendo. Um, I bought, I bought this game, uh, I bought the yellow version when it came out and a, uh, a Game Boy Color way back when, this was like 2001, I think. I have never beaten this game. I have been trying to beat it for decades. I, I've always, like, just kind of stopped playing at a certain point, multiple points. I've, I've tried maybe a half a dozen times to try and beat it. Haven't done it yet. So, this will be the time when uh, I finally get over, get over the hill here on uh, on Poker Man and uh, and beat this one. All right, so we're playing the blue version. There's also uh, red. So red and blue were the the U.S. released ones. There was also green. I think was it was the Japanese release for it. But sure, out here in the states we got red and blue. So. Poker Man, gotta catch them all. Blue version, link to red version to catch all 150 monsters. Apparently, there's a way you can you can glitch the game to get all the all the mons uh, in in just one version. That's a thing you can do. I'm not gonna do that, but sure. Apparently, that's a thing. All right. Poker Man, gotta catch them all. There is Mr. Pokemon. And also this thing. Sure, it looks it looks a lot more rotund than it than it does in in the animes, but sure. All right, you've finally been granted your Poker Man trainer's license. Now it's time to head out to become the world's greatest Poker Man trainer. It's going to take all you've got to collect 150 Poker Man in this enormous world. Catch and train monsters like the shockingly cute Pikachu. Face off against Blastoise's torrential water canyons. Stand strong when facing Pidgeot's stormy gust. Trade with friends and watch your Pokemon evolve. Important. No single Pokemon can win it all. Oh, really? What about the... The Nido King, or whatever it is? Uh, can you develop the ultimate Pokemon strategy to defeat all eight gym leaders? Why is gym in all caps? And become the greatest Poker Man master of all time. Sure. All right. Collect up to 139 different Poker Man playing the blue version using the game link registered cable sold separately. Trade with the friend who has the red version to capture all 150. You'll need to use both versions, red and blue, to collect all the Poker Man. Well, isn't that... Why is that a separate bullet point? It's... <laughs> sure. Uh, test your training skills by battling against your friends using the game link cable sold separately. So they're, they're really just trying to, this is like a weird pyramid scheme, isn't it? Like, man, they're, so in order to fully enjoy this game, you're going to need the A, a friend, B, that friend is also going to have to have the game and the Game Boy, and then you need to get this game link cable. Uh, like, man. Nintendo is printing money back then. All right. Save your Poker Man collection and game progress and the game pack memory. Requires basic reading skills to fully enjoy the entertaining story. <laughs> okay. Sure. All right. Official Nintendo seal quality. So that's how we know this game is good. Because otherwise, why, why would they put that on there? All right. 
gameplay on the Game Boy compact video game system. Okay, so this is this is a black and white. The original Game Boy was in black and white because that's that's just how they did back then with that one. And then you could also alternatively play the game on the Super NES using the Super Game Boy adapter, both sold separately. So if you wanted to be a real Poker Man master, you also needed a Super NES, a Super Game Boy. You needed a friend who has the game and a Game Boy, preferably a Super NES with the Super Game Boy. You needed a Game Link cable, uh, and you also needed a lot of time to do all of that. So that's... Yeesh. All right, so there, there's the best boy of Poker Man right there, Snorlax. And then here's what the cartridge looked like. Neat. Okay. Yep, good old Rhapsody. Like, uh, Rhapsody, you can actually play in Japanese, apparently, on the, the Western release. I'm not going to do that, but you can, apparently. All right, so. All right. The Poker Man Trainer's Guide. So Nintendo usually put in a decent amount of effort into the manuals, so we'll uh, we'll take a look through this. Um, official seal of your insurance that Nintendo has reviewed this product and it has met our standards for excellence in workmanship, reliability, and entertainment value. Okay. Sure. All right. Uh, this is the blue version of Poker Man. There are other versions, too. The story and characters are the same for all versions. The differences between the versions are the type and probability of Poker Man appearances. To complete your collection, you will need to trade with a friend who has another version. Okay. All right, so here's the entertaining story, according to the, the back of the box. You are an 11-year-old boy living in Pallet Town with your mother. Your rival lives next door to you. You and your rival used to play nicely together when you were little, but lately he has become mean. He sees you as his rival because you're the same age and height. Okay, sure. Uh, when you hear that Professor Oak is a Poker Man expert, you get excited because you are a curious boy. You walk outside of Pallet Town and shirts a, a Poker Man and you hear a voice. Hey, don't go into that grass. It's Professor Oak. There are wild Poker Man living in there. They can be very dangerous. Hopefully this is this is a poker man we're gonna bring into battle, but we'll see. Um, if you possess trained poker man, you can let them fight against wild ones. Professor Oak takes you back to his lab where your rival's waiting. Professor Oak invites him because he is Professor Oak's grandson. Professor Oak, Professor Oak, Professor Oak, Professor Oak instructs you there are three poker man here, so choose uh, the one you like. Now that you have a poker man, the rest is up to you. Okay. Sure. So there's there's Bulbasaur. And Bulbasaur is netting a, it looks like a, a lemon at, uh, at Gary, Gary Oak. Yeah, by the way, uh, there is a poll. Uh, I guess we should, I should mention this right now. There is a straw poll right now. You can get to this poll in the, uh, Pokemon Blue channel on my Discord. It's also strawpoll.me slash... One nine one seven seven two three six, uh, and then yeah, you two can, you can vote in the poll for which uh, which Poker Man we will play. Uh, the correct answer is Squirtle, so hopefully y'all choose Squirtle. Um, apparently the maximum maximum difficulty is going to be Charmander, but Squirtle's the correct choice. So we'll we'll see what the results of those are. We'll check it in a, a couple minutes here. So if you want to vote, now's the time to do it. All right. Okay, world map. I have this already saved in in my map thing, so we'll worry about that later. All right, the world of Pokemon. Sure, we need to complete the uh, the Pokedex. We're not going to do that. Uh, defeat the eight leaders. Sure. Controls. A button. Talk. B button. Cancel. Sure. Uh, erase file. Yep, not going to worry about that. Do some science. Do some science. Sure. Uh, let's begin. Yep, this is... This is all pretty, pretty simple. First time players start with Bulbasaur, the grass type Pokemon. These are more successful attacking rock type Pokemon. All right, so Dr. Oak says he's Bulbasaur, but sure. We'll see. The correct answer is Squirtle. All right, and then it just straight up gives you a strategy guide, which sure. 
We won't, we won't bother with that. All right, using a Pokeball. As you play, the wild Pokemon will get stronger. You may need to throw more than one Pokeball to capture them. All right. Luckily, I grew up when this game came out, and I know the secret strats for for collecting Pokemon. So we'll we'll do that. Okay. So there is there's Geo Dud right there. Fire type Pokemon need higher experience levels than other type when battling Brock's Rock type Pokemon. All right. Sure. All right, Pokerman. There is uh, Jerome Robinson. He is a guard on the uh, Los Angeles Clippers. And he's also the first gym leader. Okay, so this is all this other stuff. We're just, we're not going about that. That's sure. Yeah, they, they put a whole lot of effort into this manual. And it's all nice, but this this game practically plays itself. So we'll, uh, we'll just not worry about all this. Okay. Let's do it, shall we? Okay, so the way I'm playing this, it must be said, uh, I'm playing this on something called a Mr. FPGA. So uh, normally I would play this on original hardware because I have the um, I have a Game Boy, uh, a GameCube with the Game Boy Player, but the flash cart that I'm using has problems with the Game Boy Player, and it's. Um, it, it crashes after 10 minutes because there's this weird emulator that's on the flash cart when it emulates Game Boy games and it puts itself to sleep and there's no way to counteract that sleep and that crashes things. So fine, whatever. We'll just play it on the Mister. It's practically the same as playing it on original hardware. So good enough. This is one of my few exceptions that I ever make on emulation because this isn't well it's not quite emulation it's it's on a mister which is on the hardware level pretty much identical so it, it might as well be like playing on a game boy okay let's uh let's get in there so i need to mess with some settings here before we get going uh we need to turn on this there we go and then it is this, I believe. Okay, I think that's the one. All right. Okay. All right. Pokerman Blue. And then we also need different audio feed. Here we go. jam here so if, if the game looks like it's it's narrow this is actually the correct aspect ratio of game boy because game boy is is kind of tall rather than than wide and that's just that's just how it looks all right check to see if this game works and it does so we'll have to set the fast battle animation i'm going to turn down the uh the game sound just a little bit so it is it is certainly louder than uh than usual for a lot of stuff um stream audio let's turn that down to about there okay all right let's do it Hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokerman. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokerman Prof. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokerman. Oh, also, also, I should mention that because this is on the Mister, we could do horrible things like, uh, like this. Oh, jeez. 
we could so this is this is how the game originally looked on the original original ass game boy but i i figured i wouldn't subject y'all to the original look here <laughs> and we'll we'll just do this instead but that's that's how it used to look yeah the pea soup screen yep all right Myself, I study poker man as a profession. First off, what's your name? Blue, Gary, John, so none of these are Ash, so we'll we'll do the canon. Ash Ketchum. Alright. Your name is Ash. Sure. All right, this is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. What is his name again? All right, this is motherfucking Gary Oak. As Captain Clever used to say. His name is Gary. Gary Oak. Ash. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Oh, Let's go. All right, then we get that neat animation there. All right, it's time. Ash is playing the SNES. Okay, time to go. Sure, so 1998, the N64 would have been out by this time. So that's, that's poor marketing by Nintendo. Okay. All right, do we have any? All right, there's a potion. I'm sure. Free potion, boys. All right. Okay, start. So, Pokerman, we don't have any. Items, we got that. Ash. Sure. All right. Might as well save the game just for... Older file will be erased to save. Yes, yes. Oh. So. There we go. Okay. All right. All boys leave home someday. It's it's on TV. Prof Oak next door is looking for you. Okay. All right. I'm raising Pokerman too. They can protect me. All right. Ash's house. Sure. So everybody's just got a big sign outside their house. Gary's house. Sure. Technology is incredible. You can now store and recall items and Pokerman as data via PC. Sure. All right, the Oak Pokemon Research Lab. Gramps isn't around, okay. These are Pokeballs, they contain Pokemon. Sure. All right. So this is your last chance to vote in the poll. Last chance for what the starting Pokemon is. You better be voting Squirtle. All right. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Okay. Just wait. Pokemon here. I'm actually okay with backseating in this game, because I played most of this before, and I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing in this game. <laughs> so I am, I am okay with, uh, with chat plays Pokemon here. And how you doing, Ed? My old age, I only have three left. 
You can have one. Choose. Okay. Uh... The resistance shirt, is it, uh... Is it this thing? Because, look at that. Look at this thing. Sure. We got that to, uh, to refer to. Alright. So, let's, uh, let's close the poll here. So... The, the time is now. What starting Pokemon will Purr use for the Pokemon Blue Game Boy 1998 playthrough? I really hope y'all picked Squirtle. Let's see. Bulbasaur wins. With 45% of the vote. Bulbasaur. Alright. Charmander in last. So we, we got a Bulby Boy. Alright. I don't think I've ever used Bulbasaur before in a playthrough. Okay, and that's this one? Alright, seed type. 2 foot, 4 inches, 15 pounds. A strange seed was planted on its back at birth. The plant sprouts and grows with this Pokemon. Alright, we got ourselves a Bulbasaur. Hopefully you guys chose wisely. Really energetic. Why is it a flower icon? Gary got a Charmander. I'm sure this will work out great for us. Pokemon looks a lot stronger. Yep, probably. Okay. All right, place your bets. Who's going to win the opening fight? I'm going to count it as a death if we lose to Gary here. Hey, Hidden. this? Alright. Alright, should I just go straight into just nothing but tackles, or should I hit him with a, a tail whip, or whatever it is, whatever char our, our thing has? Alright, so growl is a, uh... Oh, we can... We can rearrange that. I actually didn't know that. Alright, straight into tackles, or... Zero growls? Okay. All right, nothing but tackles. Great. Perfect. I do have a potion. I do have a potion. I could, I could do the ultimate bitch move here and potion on the Gary Oak fight, but nah. We're gonna take this L. All right, we got a crit. Okay, may, there's still hope. There's still hope. Keep growling. Oh shit. We lost the fucking Gary Oak. Uh. Great. The indignity of losing to Gary Oak. By making a fight. Okay. Sure. Uh. Okay, thank you, Ed. Alright, so, okay, we're still at, uh, at full HP. So, grass type, poison type, 11, 10, 10, 11. Sure? I, I know that there's something weird with the, uh, like, DVs. There's some, something about DVs, I guess, with, with how, uh, stats are generated in this game. I, I don't know. 
All right. We gotta save. There, there's no turning back now on our, our shame of losing to Gary. Okay. All right, Wild Pidgey. Let's take out our frustrations on this Pidgey. Gonna lose to a level three Pidgey. Alright, got him. We're to Pokemon Mart, convenient shop, please possess Viridians. Give you a sample. Okay? Alright, two potions. Route 1, Pallet Town to Viridian City. Okay, so according to the manual and the map, so we are in... We're starting off here in Pallet Town. And so our our objective is to uh, defeat all of the, the Pokemon Gym Masters. And I believe the first Pokemon Gym is here in Pewter City. So we need to we need to go this way along Route One and Two to get there. So sure, that's our that's our current to do. Yeah, riding the bike. the The bike was um, I think these are our bike routes. I think maybe, and I, I I think Saffron might be where you get the bike. I I can't remember. And also, I remember the Safari Zone. Like, I, I have no idea how the Safari Zone is supposed to work, but, but sure, sure. Oh yeah, I guess it does say it's it says underground right here. So, yeah, those are those are tunnels. All right, all right. Let's beat up some more birds. So let's see. We can. Uh, I know you can cancel evolutions, but I'm not gonna cancel any, uh, any Bulbasaur evolutions. Am I gonna lose to a level three Pidgey? Do we have any Poke- oh, oh god. Alright. Twelve, eleven. So we got two points in special, but one in everything else. Okay. So I do remember that um, you can run. It's a guaranteed run from any fight that you're in. See those ledges? A bit scary, but you can jump from them. Get back to Pallet Town quicker that way. Okay. All right. Not guaranteed. I thought it was. Huh. All right. Trainer tips. Battle moves of Pokemon are limited by their power points, PP, to replenish their PPs. Uh, rest your tired Pokemon and a Pokemon Center. Sure. Alright. Our Poke. Kill your Pokemon back for Capel Shield. Sure. Based off speed? Is there... Is there even a speed stat? Hold up. Oh, there is speed. Okay. 11 speed. Okay. Alright, so healing up the Poke Center is free, I think. Poke Center in every town. Don't charge any money either. Okay, there you go. Just as I mentioned. And then this is where the... So kind. Sure. Alright. So I think the right side of the Poco Center is, is where multiplayer happens, but we ain't doing multiplayer. Alright. 
eternally green paradise. All right, or we'll just have to imagine that this is green. Actually, we can... While we're here. All right. Now it's green. All right, for the real Pokemon experience. <sighs> hey, a Pokemon. Great, you can carry and use Pokemon. already hurting my eyes on the OLED. Okay. Hello, Adam. Yep, this is live. Welcome. Live, not a VOD. Alright, there's there's a Mart somewhere? There it is. The two kinds of Caterpillar Pokemon. No. Okay, then. <laughs> Alright. Also, losing to Gary Oak at the beginning of the game. That we we have to log that one in there, because uh, otherwise I might strike it from my memory. Okay. So they may, I, I don't know what the hell they do in Pallet Town. There's like, there's like three houses in all of Pallet, Pallet Town, so no idea actually. All right, so here we just get some free stuff by doing this, I think. Man, this game is great music for for Game Boy. Like they don't have much to work with in terms of available voices in the game. But, man, they they did a great job with it. How is my old Pokemon? Well, we almost lost to a level 3 Pidgey, but besides that... Alright, delivered parcel. Custom Pokeball. Okay. Pokedex. Automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. Yep. I wonder if Pidgey appears in the Pokedex, even though... Quick guide, yep. That was my dream. Well, I don't think we're gonna accomplish that in this playthrough, but sure. town map. Why does she have multiple town maps? Okay, I'm curious. Does... So Charmander... And I'm assuming... Pidgey... Yeah, and Pidgey. We didn't have the Pokedex when we saw these two. So how does... How does it know? Is it just... Coincidence? First start to open the menu. Save option is on the menu. Okay, sure. Yeah, it would have been nice if we if we had the Squirtle right then and there, but... Uh. Alright, I guess we're getting our town map here. So he's just looking at the town map all day. Great. Okay. So is it select? Or... No. It just... It takes up a spot in our inventory, then? Okay. So this... This roughly matches the... The map that uh, came in the manual. 
Manual map looks a little bit better, though. Okay. I thought I was supposed to get some uh, free Pokeballs at some point, but I guess not. Okay, onward to adventure. Gary always picks the opposite type. Nice. <laughs> so they, they make things as difficult as possible then. All right, Ratata, this one's new. All right, so if our, our first opponent is gonna be using rock type, then Who's my favorite Pokemon? Psyduck. Second favorite is probably, uh... Snorlax. And then... Squirtle. And... I only know of first-generation Pokemon, by the way. So, I'd like... <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of other excellent ones in games that came after this one, but I have not played or seen any of those other ones, so... <laughs> So perhaps my favorite Pokemon is in a game that I've yet to play. Alright. Actually, do, do these people have free stuff for me too? Potions are all sold out. Antidotes. Okay. Alright, let's go catch some, some Pokemon. I don't think I need any of those. I'm sure we'll be fine. <sighs> I thought I did the errand. I uh, I got the, the thing from this guy. Maybe I have to go talk to talk to Oak again. I could have sworn you get like ten free Pokeballs from from Oak at some point, but whatever. We'll continue on. The winding trail in Verdun Forest. Eh? No. Okay. Don't you know how to catch Pokemon? I'll show you. Alright. Okay, old man. Alright, it's autopiloting. Old man used Pokeball. Is old man holding the correct buttons? Old man was holding the correct button. Alright. Do we get a free Weedle out of this? Weaken the target Pokemon. Okay. Alright, and uh, I'm also curious, does Weedle show up here? It does, okay. So even in, even in a cutscene fight... There's Harry Bug Weedle. Alright. Onwards. Catch Pokemon and expand your collection. The more you have, the easier it is to fight. Sure. Alright. Radiant City to Pewter City. So Pewter City is where we're headed. Uh, and I remember this being a thing at some point later in the game. Now we can we get some sort of ability to, to do something with those. It's been a while. Alright, let's see what kind of Pokemon we can get here. Yes, yeah, I, I keep hearing about shiny Pokemon. Like, what, what even are those? Are those, uh, like, super rare ones or something? I see people get excited on Twitter about their shiny Pokemon, but I have no idea what they're talking about. Because I don't think those were a thing in the ones that I played. Alright, we're getting wrecked by a Pidgey again. Alright. Okay, it's time. So... 
back on the playground in the late 90s, I heard that there's a secret to this game. That you will never miss catching a poker man if you do this. Hey! Alright, we did it. I got the timing just right. Alright, we got a Pidgey. Common sight in forest and woods, it flaps its wings at ground level to kick up blinding sand. Okay. Yeah, strat confirmed. Like, so there you go. That's all the proof we need. Nickname for Pidgey? Nope. Yeah, it's a realist thing. It is the realist thing. It always works without fail. The only time it ever fails is if you get the timing wrong. And that's your own fault for getting the timing wrong. You gotta hold down, down and B. And without fail, unless you get the timing incorrect, you will catch that poker man every time. Every time. Yeah, we're gonna catch them all now. I have the forbidden knowledge from late 90s playgrounds on how to poker man. And now we're good to go. We just gotta go through the motions now. I'm not even sure how long this will take for the playthrough, by the way. I, I have a feeling this is probably gonna be 30 hours, maybe? Which I, I'm fine with this. This game's great. I, I think that's how long this might take, though. Ratata might be small, but its bite is wicked. Did you get one? No. Underverdian Forest. Be careful, it's a natural maze. Alright. Are you ready for this enormous maze? Trainer tips. We can Pokemon for to catch. When healthy, they may escape. Sure. Trainer tips. If you want to avoid battles, stay away from grassy areas. <laughs> Alright. Hey, Slamwich. I'm doing okay. The uh, the beginning of the stream was Peace Explosion number 199, which was uh, Cardinal Sin. And that game was too difficult for its own good. So we we dipped out on that one about an hour, an hour in. There's a lot to like about that game, but... The, the difficulty was just ridiculous for it, so... That is as much as we saw of Cardinal Sin. Alright, are you ready for this? Are you ready? Alright, here we go. Here's, here's the timing. You gotta see the inputs here. Here's the timing for it. Eh? Eh? There you go! That's how you do it. Alright, we got a Weedle. Big old hairy bug. Okay. Ran out of Pokeballs to catch Pokemon with. You should carry extras. Sure. Playing an emulator? No, I'm playing on uh, a Mr. FPGA. It's a, um, it's a hardware emulator, let's say. It's, uh, it virtualizes the chips of the, of the system that can do. So it can be a virtual Game Boy, it can be a virtual SNES, uh, virtual NES. Um, it's a neat device. And from, like, the, the signals that it puts out and, and how it emulates the CPU, it, it might as well be the original hardware or close enough to it. So that's why I'm using a uh, a DualShock 4 to play this. Because normally I would be playing this on the Game Boy Player, but the um, my Game Boy Player has issues with playing original Game Boy games on it through the cartridge that I use. So it crashes after 10 minutes of playing, even if I'm doing inputs, because it puts itself to sleep. So can't really play like that. It's a bummer, but that's that's how it is. 
All right. Man, get the crits here. All right. Leech seed. Okay. That is Caterpie. Change Pokemon. No. Give all that XP to the law. All right, I think Leech Seed it will heal me every turn. I think. All right, we, we put our seed in this Caterpie. That is not a lot of damage. All right, we're gonna have to <laughs> use the potion. Actually, no, we can we can put in put in our boy Pidgey. Yeah, the Game Boy CPU is yeah. I think it is about four megahertz. So it is it is not very fast. So I think bug bug enemies are weak to birds. I want to say. And our leech seed is still putting in work. Yeah, I guess that that checks out that birds eat bugs. All right. Got him. Okay. Probably gonna have to potion my uh my the law. Because we can't do much if it's fainted. Yeah. Get your poke X the value. Sure. Alright. I think this is probably one of the, the few music tracks in this game that I don't like. Also, just uh, uh, so the so the one at the top of the list is the one that's always picked in battles, right? Uh, I think that's how it works. So even though I called in Pidgey earlier, I think we're we're still good with this one. Yo, it's everybody's favorite, whatever that is. Pikachu. Isn't this like a rare spawn in the, uh, in this area? I don't think I've ever run across a Pikachu in this area before. And it's, it's gonna one-shot my Pidgey. Great. Alright. Oh, shit, I almost... Oh, God. Okay. So I just barely made it into the timing window there for... for getting the... the button combination correct. Several of these Pokemon gather their electricity, could build and cause lightning storms. Sure. Nickname Pikachu? No, that that is just Pikachu. All right, well we got a Pikachu pretty much immediately. That's that's fine, I guess. Sure. And it it looks like a Clefairy for some reason. All right, nine, seven, ten, eight. Electric type: Thunder Shock and Growl. Okay. We might. Probably do this <laughs> just in case. Oh my god. 
<sighs> so let's see. So the, the Pikachu is going to be useful for the water gym when we get to it, I guess. Do we already have a Caterpie? We don't. All right, let's catch them all. Got them. Okay. Its short feet are tipped with suction pads that enable it to climb, tirelessly climb slopes and walls. Okay. A one foot long, six pound worm. So this, it's about that big. There's Caterpie. Sure. All right. Ed, how can Pikachu not be a good Pokemon when it's... It is the main character of all the marketing for the game. Level 9 Weedle. Oh, shit. Uh... Okay, this might be difficult. But if it's just this string shot constantly, then that's fine, I guess. Okay, that's less fine. Actually, wait, we're grass type. How is this level 9 Weedle not giving us the business? <laughs> sure. Raichu, but then I wouldn't have a Pikachu. Did Ash Ketchum in the Pokerman lore ever force his Pikachu to turn into a Raichu? Sometimes you can find stuff on the ground. I'm looking for the stuff I dropped. All right. That just happened to attack me while doing so. Alright, leaving Verdean Forest, Peter City ahead. Okay. He tried, but then he left out of the Pikachu. Exactly. Those bushes on the roadside, they can be cut down by a special Pokerman move. Okay. Many Pokerman live only in forests and caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds. Okay. Sure. Alright, good night, Aramath. Have a good sleep. Trainer tips. Any Pokemon that takes part in battle, however short, earns XP. Okay. At, at what point in the series did they start doing shared XP? Because I I like that change, that, that they did that later on. Because then they could balance the game more towards your your whole party being roughly equivalent and not having to, to grind out XP for, for things. Gen 5? Holy shit. <laughs> so not until... That's like late Game Boy Advance, maybe? Or, or early DS? Pokerman are in fighting shape. Too bad most of them are level 3. <sighs> I 
ketogens, Brock is totally into it. Sure. Oh wait, this is Peter City? Are, are we already here? I thought we were in... Oh. I thought we were in Viridian City. Oh. Okay. I see. Sure. Isn't the gym, like, nowhere near here, though? a couple more poker man balls and a potion to be nice so i i'm pretty sure money is a limited resource in this game if i remember correctly and the only way you're able to get it is uh Pokemon trainer. Alright. Let's go fight Jerome Robinson. I can tell you what it takes to become a Pokemon champ. I'm no trainer, but I can tell you how to win. Let me take you to the top. Alright. Let's get happening. First Pokemon out in the match is at the top of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of Pokemon matches could be made easier. Leader Brock, winning trainers, Gary. All right, let's let's see if we can beat this guy at least. His spot on the bench. No, I'll I'll just take a cut of his contract, whatever it is. Fifty percent. I'll uh, forty-nine percent. Level 11 Diglett. All right. This should be... This should go just fine. Oh, God. Uh... All right. Critical hit. That's... No! No! Alright, at least hit him with the Leech Sea. Oh, shit. Alright, Pidgey. Oh, God. Alright, Pidgey. Pidgey's got this. Alright, perhaps this is a, a huge mistake. got this. You got this, buddy. Alright, Pikachu. Show him why you're the mascot of Poker Man. some work to do it seems let's let's walk back and forth in the bushes here 
the worst part? Well, okay, what's the worst part, Ed? These are all up. What? Bulbasaur gets the first grass type attack at level 13. Alright, well, we're almost there. We're practically almost level 13. We're practically almost there. Uh, all these. Okay. Surely there are higher level enemies than level 3 somewhere. There's probably, uh. Probably grass north of the, uh. of Pewter City. That'll speed this up. Pewter Museum of Science. Oh, what is this? $50. No. For new challengers. I I've already been there. I already been there. If you have the right stuff, go take on Brock. I don't. Also, where's he going? There's Alright, hopefully he'll let me by now. Alright, I took on and I beat Brock. Let me by. He's turned around. What? I... <sighs> Alright, I guess we're going back in Verdian Forest then, because level 3 is... Not gonna cut it. And I guess we can we can also level up some of the other ones from the, the level three stuff there. Alright. Yeah, this game has literal hand holding. Hey Drew. Alright, Metapod. The most difficult fight in the game. I think the water gym is after after this one, I wanna say. So what's what's the order they they want you to do these then? Uh oh good lord, there's a lot to the manual that I I skipped. Okay, Cerulean City, Pokemon up to level 30. Uh... Alright, Pidgey, you're up. So yeah, we do want to get Pikachu up to... Fighting shape for the second gym. So Metapod eventually turns into what? A Caterpie, I think? Oh no, not a Caterpie. 
It's Caterpie to Metapod to... Butterfree? I think? Alright. So that'll be the crew that we roll with for now is... Is getting XP on uh, Bulbasaur and, uh, and Pidgey. Metapod uses James Harden. Okay. Might be faster. I'm just thinking. What would be the most efficient way to do this? Like, is there a. Are there a non metapod area? These are level 6 metapods, so maybe this is. Glitch through the guy. If only I knew how. And Dr. Game Shark is not an option on uh, on the Mister, unfortunately. It's easy. Is it like opening the menu right when you halfway towards them or something? Okay. All right, let's try it. So it's like half halfway you, you hit start or something or what? So like you move on to the space and mash start. Let me heal up, and then we'll do it. Save the game and reset? Oh, okay. That's going to be difficult to do on, on a mister, unfortunately. Yeah, like, the, the having to save to do it is going to be the, the difficult part. Press B. Open the menu when you step in front of him. Save the game and reset. Okay, well, I'll give it a try at least. So I need to... Uh, save the backup RAM. Okay. Alright, open the menu. Cursor over save. Press B. Oh, I should also save the game. Now that I think about it. Open the menu, cursor over save, press B. Open the menu when you step in front of him, save the game reset. Didn't quite work. Have I played any Pokemon games? So I, I got Pokemon Yellow when it came out. Um, I had heard of this game when it came out in the late 90s. Um, I have played this one before, Pokemon Blue. Uh, I've tried to beat, and beat it about half a dozen times. Um, most times I get up until about, uh, um, I think here, I want to say. And the furthest I've ever made it was, uh, here, I want to say. And that, that's as far as I've ever gotten. I've seen a lot of speedruns of Pokemon Red before. 
And then as for the, the games after this one, the only other Pokemon game that I played after Pokemon Red and Blue is uh, Pokemon Snap. <laughs> and that's it. That's all the, uh, the Pokemon I've ever played. Um, I have all of the other ones, though, except for the, the newest one that came out on Switch. Um, that one I don't have, but I have every single other one. So, um, those are all on the backlog, and we will totally do those. Alright, I guess we're, we're back to grinding on Metapods. Unless I, I completely did that, uh, that glitch wrong. Which I probably did, but you can see I was, I was pressing start there, so... You instructed me wrong. All right, how do you do it? See, we're level 10 already. We're all practically almost there. And yeah, I am I am open to backseating and hints and, and all that for this because I have played most of this game before and clearly I don't know what I'm doing. So, <laughs> so we good. Feel free to suggest and hint and tip. Whether or not I follow your, your hints and tips is going to be another thing entirely, but you're free to, to do so. Alright, trigger the cutscene, then at the follow me text, you clear it with B and immediately open the... Okay, so before you start moving... Alright, let's, let's save here. And then put that on there. Okay. So you hit B. Okay. Alright. And then we reset. I might have screwed this up because I didn't open up the OSD in the mister. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, you need to start. Okay. All right. I'll I'll start by holding right then. I was I was holding right. Do you, have, do you have to hit down? Oh, okay. I, well, I... Do you, do you have to save when you're a, a square to the right? ain't working. Yeah, I, I don't know if this is a Mr. Thing or what, but whatever. Whatever, man. Back to fighting defenseless metapods. Or defensible pet metapods, in this case. Maybe I, I'll actually have no problem against... Actually, never mind. We, we definitely need a grass-type attack to, uh, to beat Brock. Do you have any trainers on the way here? I, I did? 
I guess we can, uh, we can fight some. Metapod that just sits there and, and casts defense nonstop. Man, all you Bulbasaur fans out there, what are you thinking? Bulbasaur kind of sucks. came on, so we're, we're getting some Digimon later, I guess. Alright, let's go fight some of those trainers that we skipped. We just used the Squirtle. This wouldn't have been an issue. <laughs> I could have sworn there was there was one over here that I skipped, like this one. Yeah, there we go. All right. You can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. What? a metapod that can maybe attack as well? Or is it just going to do this? Alright, I guess I might as well get some healing done while it just does this. Okay. Oh no! Dang it! Ugh! <laughs> So it's at max defense. Get comfy. This is gonna take a while. Oh, or that'll do that. Okay. Nineteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Okay. A Mankey in Vermilion? I didn't even know you could get Mankeys there, huh? Ways games are popular. Yeah, these are like, uh, these are like my first RPGs, really. Like they're they're about as basic as as JRPGs can get, but they're they're super accessible, and uh, and there's a lot to them, so that's why I like them, or at least this one. I don't know about the other ones, but uh, but this one is a great introduction to uh, to JRPGs, way more than like um, like Final Fantasies would have been. I I guess like. 
This came out around the same time FF7 came out, and that was also my first JRPG, and that one is pretty accessible too. But like the ones prior to that, especially the NES ones and Dragon Warrior, those are those can be punishing with their difficulty. And then there's this. This is cutesy, very accessible mechanics. If you uh, if you lose a fight, um, it isn't a game over. You just get warped back to the um, the recovery center, and you keep all of your XP. Like this is this is very nice. Oh, that's why Mankey isn't in blue. That makes sense. Yeah, I never played red, because why would you? Why would you play red when Pokemon Blue exists? So I also considered, um... On the Switch recently, there's a remake of this game made. It was called Let's Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. But um, from the from what I've heard of it, they changed the mechanics quite a lot. Um, where there, I I think there like isn't random encounters or anything. It's uh, there's enemies that you have to run into on the field, like like Chrono Trigger kind of. Um, and. It's like the, the Pokemon Go style catching mechanics or something, and that ain't Pokemon Blue as far as I'm concerned. So that's that's why I went with this then. Uh something like that. Casual run? What do you mean? When someone says run, that, that usually means that it's a a speed run. Applies to me and the same to speedrun. <laughs> I have never completed this game before. Alright. Fire Red Leaf. Yeah, there's also Fire Red Leaf Green, too. So there's, uh, there's multiple remakes of this game. First RPG is Legend of Dragoon. Oh man, that's uh, that's quite the first RPG to start with. I'm I'm very glad that I started off with FF7 because that one, that one is pretty easy as far as uh, as those type types of games go. Like I'm glad my first was an FF9 because I would have never beaten FF9. <laughs> If that was my first one. Oh god, we're almost out of tackles. Alright, so if you're unfamiliar with, with Poker Man here, you have a limited amount of, uh, of attacks. So we, we currently have 5 out of 10 Leech Seed attacks. We haven't used a single Growl yet. And I have five more uses of tackle left. And once you use up those five, you can't use it anymore unless until you go to the Poka Poka Center and, and heal. Um. How much XP do we need to... Uh... 227. Shit, okay, we, we gotta go heal, because that's... We're almost high enough to... to easily deal with Brock. But not quite. We 
also can't one-shot. What the hell? So it's like, it's 10 fights like that to level up. So we might as well do this and then go back to the forest to be slightly more efficient. And then we can beat Brock and then get more XP on the the next segment of, uh, of Rhodes. Already over an hour in. <laughs> it's, it doesn't feel like that to me. All right. Okay. Take it. See, thirty XP. Yeah, randomizers. Yeah, I can. I can see why this would be a, a good one to randomize. See, the nice thing about me never having played a lot of these classic games is that it, this might as well be a randomizer to me, because I have never seen any of this before. It's the same with, like, uh, uh, Zelda Link to the Past. Like, I know that's a popular randomizer one. Um, and Super Metroid. And apparently there's a, there's a randomizer for Super Metroid and Link to the Past where you actually played both games. Where you can pick up Super Metroid items in Zelda that unlock stuff in Metroid, I think. That that just sounds crazy to me, <laughs> but sure. Huh. I don't think I've ever really tried any randomizers. Though I, I speed ran a randomizer for quite a while. It was called Daggerfall. Oh man. I'm suddenly getting caterpies nonstop. Yeah, those Daggerfall sweaters. The only indicator of a good run. Did you get a sweater or not? What happened to all the Metapods I was getting? Now it's non-stop Caterpies. I was getting like level 6 Metapods. Ugh. Oh yeah, co-op randomizers for, uh, for Zelda. Yeah, those are neat too. I think you can use the, the SD to SNES with the, um, the USB, USB attachment to, uh, to connect them. there. I think this one will do it. Green of time, Brando. Yeah, I think I... I might have seen a little bit of that. Before. Okay. Alright, level 13. 22, 19, 20, 23. And we learned Vine Whip. All right. We're gonna go heal up, and we're gonna go give Brock the business. But first, we're going to give the other, the others in the gym the business first, because we need the XP. And the money, I guess. 
But yeah, Ocarina of Time, another game I haven't played. That one's on the backlog. I'm not sure in, in which order I want to do the, the Zelda games. Because I can... I'm not sure that it really matters which one I play first. And the only Zelda game that I I played through completely and beaten was uh, Breath of the Wild. And that one's not even really a Zelda game. <laughs> um, I think I might play Zelda 1 first, and then maybe Link to the Past, and then Ocarina of Time, perhaps? We haven't saved in a while, so let's, let's do that. Alright, I got it. So this commits it to the the flash card. All right, let's give him the vine whips. So this is the the diglet that gave us the business last time we were here. Now how the the turntables have turned. All right. Let's just do that. Got him. All right, 190 XP. Look at that. All right, Sand Shrew. I think we can still use Mind Whip. Okay, I'll take it. This is. I'll take it. Darn. Light years is in time. It measures distance. Hey, Chris. Yeah, the, the only progress I've ever made in Link to the Past was... Uh, uh, I'm healing, by the way. Uh... I beat the first part where you go through the castle and save the princess, and then that's it. <laughs> that's that's the most I played of Link to the Past. And then Super Metroid, I think I've only beaten the very first part in the station, which is like the, the first two minutes of the game. So, that is as much of those games that I played before. <laughs> and Super Metroid is on the on the backlog. But I, I do already know what the next game for uh, for the backlog is going to be, and it's not a Pokemon game. You're pretty hot, but not as hot as Brock. All right. Thank you, Junior Trainer. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter Gym's leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then. Show me your best. All right. You're taking on Jerome Robinson. Is he wearing a shirt in this? I. Is he just there in the the pair of pants and no shoes? Sure. All right. There's Geo Dud. So also is. Is this supposed to be hair on Geodude? By the way, I've, I've always wondered, like, is it... The the official art for Geodude... Like, okay, hold on, I, I got it right here. So here's the official Geodude art. Why does that look so much different from the, the in-game sprites? <laughs> like... Sure. All right, Wine Whip, let's do it. One shot. All right, I'll take it. 220, let's use Onyx. All right. Okay, well, 
that was... That went quite smoothly. 25, 21, 23, 26. Got him. Okay. Proof of your victory. Here's the boulder badge. Exclamation mark. Ash received the boulder badge. That's an official Pokemon League badge. All caps. It's bearers. Pokemon become more powerful. Okay. Technique Flash can now be used anytime. Ash got 1386 Pokebucks for winning. Wait, take this with you. TM34. Technique that can be taught to Pokemon. TM is good only once, so when you use it on one to teach me technique, pick the Pokemon carefully. Contains Blide. Okay. Absorb damage in battle, then pay it back double. Okay. All kinds of trainers in the world. You appear to be very gifted. Go to the gym in Cerulean and test your abilities. Alright, so we're gonna need... We're gonna need that Pikachu for Cerulean. Tell me the law of stats? Alright. The law is... Attack 25, defense 21, speed 23, special 26. Is the law. Status okay. And ID 28914? Sure. With 35 PPs. Okay. Alright, we can finally get past... person blocking the exit here. So how are we doing on items? Four of those, three of those. Okay, town map. So we're going to... Oh. Alright, Peter Cave. Diglett's Cave's over there, apparently. Route 3, Mount Moon, Cerulean. Okay, so that's where we're going. And there's a whole bunch of stuff between here and there. Okay. And then the, the person isn't there anymore. Lass, it is Lass. Alright, Lass. You're level 9 Pidgey. Alright, we're gonna need... Our level 3 Pikachu is gonna get the kill here. Or get killed immediately. Please survive. Okay. All right. All right. You're you're still gonna get that XP, Pikachu. <laughs> Good job, Pikachu. You did it. It's gonna be a level five Pikachu now. Yeah. That's how you do it. All right. Dang, we're getting critted by level nine Pidgeys. Up again, because of course. 
after all that. I think the grass is down here. Oh, shit. Man, they really make you walk a long way to the grass here. Alright. Still got a long ways to go with our Pikachu. Because so I'm assuming Pikachu probably needs to be level 20 to be of any use in the uh in the later fights. So what uh, I, I think we can do this. So if we if we start the fight with Pikachu and then immediately switch to uh to the law, will Pikachu still get XP? I guess we'll find out shortly, but... Yep, okay, good. A good special DV of nine? Oh, okay. Alright, I guess that's a good thing. Um, does Vine Whip even do anything to Caterpie? Is this not very effective? Yeah, okay. Put that at 15. So that's, that's only slightly above average though, right? Okay, because you did get XP. Good. All right, so we'll change the Pikachu again. Oh, average is five? Okay. Sure. Oh no, a poison sting. Oh shit. I thought I was selecting Leech Seed again. Poison Sting sure is doing a lot of damage for a not very effective on something five levels above it. Alright, Pikachu, you're doing a great job, buddy. Wait, so there's there's an additional damage modifier on the um, poison sting because of resistance conflicts or something is what I'm understanding from that. Still look at that. Still leveling up even with the law. So by so by a, a above average DV, does that mean that uh, that the law will gain special at a faster rate than normal? Okay. All right. Well, 
When the bulb on its back grows large, it appears to lose the ability to stand on its hind legs. Okay. 29 pounds, 3 feet tall. So at, at which point is the 3 foot being measured? Is it here? Or is it here? <laughs> like, is it... It, it is this part part of the Pokemon or is or is this the Pokemon hmm don't worry but I'll, I gotta worry about it though Uh, 16. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to the, the poke center and heal, just because I don't know how rough that next fight's gonna be, and you can't, uh, you can't escape from trainer fights. Planted to birth, yeah, it, that's what I'm thinking too, so Bulbasaur... It said, a strange seed was planted on its back at birth, so... Maybe it's a symbiotic thing? I guess? Where, like, you're... The... The whatever it is in your digestive tract, the... Whatever the bacteria is, they are in you, but they aren't you. And I guess it's the same thing with Bulbasaur and the, and the seeds? Yeah, Pokemon are weird. Why couldn't this just be simple like Digimon? And just tell me how much they poop. Hey, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. This, this is my spirit animal right here. I agree. Shorts are comfy and easy to wear. Alright, Rats, huh? Our Pikachu might be able to... ...stand up to this, or not. Alright, Pikachu earned the XP this time. What in the hell is that sprite for... It, it's like a peach? Uh, okay, so this... This looks like an orange that's been peeled for the sprite. It's It's been peeled back and they left the bit on the bottom and then just kind of wadded it up. And then that's what our, our Ivysaur looks like. This is a definite downgrade in terms of the the sprites of our are the law. Ekans. Sure. But hey, at least it's not Pikachu who has the the stink lines coming off of it. It could be worse. At least it's not a stinky Pikachu. Oh, that's right. Ekans is rap. So I, I seem to recall rap being a problem in speedruns because it uh, rap can continue for like six turns or something. Oh god! Stop it, Ekans. Okay. Okay. Alright, we defeated Shorts Kid. Warp, of 
Oh, oh god. Okay, this might actually be a problem. I might have to use a potion for this one. Ekans to sneak backwards. You're right. Oh my god. You're right. Holy shit. Oh, man. Why am I using what? Oh, God. I should really move Blind Whip up so that I... Leech Seed is what I want to use. All right, Pikachu, time for some free XP. So Pikachu's gotten like six levels out of this. Pikachu, earn this this time. Get him. Look at that. Our Pikachu actually being useful for once. Fire type probably would have won that easily. Uh, okay. So how's the law doing on? Twenty-two. Okay, oh, I'm still, still good. Hey, you're not wearing shorts. <laughs> I don't think I've actually ever fought this one before. Okay, Spiro. Level 14 Spiro. This might actually be an issue. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it will? Oh god. Okay, yeah. Keep growling. All right. We're going 
gonna... I might actually lose this. Alright, come on, the law. Get him. There you go. Okay. Jeez. Thunder Wave. Alright. Now we're ready for Cerulean Gym. What even is Thunder Wave? Uh, 20, and it, sure. It does something, apparently. Does it, does it not even tell you what they do? Sure. Oh, it's paralyzed, okay. Yeah, you just gotta experiment with moves, I guess. Or you get the official Poker Man hint book. Pulling the, the Ken Williams strap. Only $49.99. Now we should be in good enough shape to advance forward. Well, the, the equivalent of Twitch chat back then was the corner of the playground. Um, that was not quite in direct sunlight because then you couldn't see your Game Boy screen, but with just enough to, to kind of tilt it to catch the sun to see what, what was going on in the game. Because remember, original Game Boy did not have a backlight or front light or any light. So you needed some sort of light source to be able to see the screen. <laughs> and you had to have just enough, like, not glare. Uh, if there's too much glare, you couldn't see it. If there wasn't enough light, you couldn't see it. Uh, what else? You could, you could get these little third-party um, lights that attach to the front of the Game Boy and show, like, shown light down on it. And some of them also had, like, oh my god. Alright, Pidgey. <laughs> I guess you're getting this XP, Pidgey. Unless you get killed right here. Alright. And some of them had a magnifying glass on them. So then you got nice big pixels. Yeah, the worm light, yep. And they uh, they plugged into the power port, I think. All right, the law. Because I remember I had the worm light. I did have that. Uh... Yeah, it destroyed your batteries, but but still, the, the Game Boy battery life wasn't that bad. Especially compared to the Sega systems back then. The, the Sega handhelds were notorious around the, the schoolyard of, like... Like, hey, I brought my Sega uh, Game Gear with me. I also have 20 AA batteries <laughs> in my backpack. Crazy to go. For when the... For when the batteries inevitably die. Um... Alright, Pidgey. Yep, the Game Gear. I remember, I, I've only seen a Game Gear once in person in the wild before, and it was during a school assembly in middle school, I think, in the auditorium, where the principal was telling us about some, some whatever thing. 
and the person in front of me uh, was playing playing their Game Gear, and they were playing Mortal Kombat on it, and it was it was amazing. Being like, oh man, it's this arcade quality Game Gear in Mortal Kombat. It's just like the arcade, except it's in your hand, and this dude is playing it in the middle of an assembly. <laughs> Oh man, those were the days. And then my strat for uh, for that back in the day, we'll just stick with the law here. My strat for that was uh, in, I think in high school, I got a, uh, oh, I can, I can bring in the other one. Um, Heelys? No, Heelys were, were way after my time. He probably would have had Heelys if they were around back then. Um, but no, the Heelys weren't the thing until I was in college, I think. Uh, but no, my strat in high school was I got a PDA. Uh, my first one I got was a, a Casio Cassiopeia. Which was, uh, it was essentially a smartphone, except it was from 2001. So it had a, a touch screen on it, it had a D-pad, and it had three face buttons on it. And that was enough to do NES and, and Game Boy. Um, so I would be using my calculator in class, but I was really playing NES games on my PDA. <laughs> And then eventually I got a, uh, uh, it uses compact flash for storage and uh, a one terabyte, or not one terabyte, one gigabyte uh, micro, I think it was called an IBM micro drive came out. So I got one of those for it. It was like $300 back then too. It was, it was not cheap. Uh, and then I could put movies on it. So I watched movies in class on that thing. <laughs> And the battery life was pretty good on it, so I could I could watch a few movies during a, a school day. I was not very productive in high school, but luckily classes were easy enough for me that uh, it didn't really matter. Done like dinner. An MP3 player. Oh man, I remember stuff like that. Yeah, those were those were kind of becoming things like. Uh, Still not, not everybody even had a cell phone um, towards the end of high school for me. Like they, cell phones didn't become common until probably my last year of high school. Uh, like I was still using pay phones to call for, uh, call for rides uh, while I was in high school until I got my own car. And then, yeah, the, the MP3 players, there was, like, the Creative Nomad. I remember that thing. Uh, I don't recall anybody having an iPod that I knew, at least. Um, Alright, let's see what kind of pokes we can get here. So this is where we should have been leveling up, but... Alright, Spiro. Level 5. I don't see a point in getting this Spiro. Couldn't get it anyways. Oh man, a Zune? Hey, if you want to get a Zune, get on Goodwill, because Goodwill is filled with Zunes. <laughs> Why am I using Pidgey again? Is it because my... My Pikachu got blown up here? All right, Pikachu. Go get some more XP. Oh, it's super effective on birds. Okay. Uh, the last time somebody said I want to get a Zune was whenever the last Zune commercial was, because that would have been the only environment that that sentence was ever said. 
So apparently Zunes are, are actually, like, decent hardware. It was just the bad ecosystem for them. Alright, last. Jigglypuff. Don't kill my... Jigglypuff is berry type, I want to say. But I don't think Bikebuff would do anything. So do that. Are there modern MP3 players? Yes, but they're there for audio files. And it's like, hey, if you want your your lossless, like, if you want to use up a gigabyte for one music track, those will do it. This is... Am I going to lose to a Jigglypuff? How did that not wake me up? Am I going to lose... <laughs> this... How do physical attacks not wake you up from sleep? What is this bullshit? Okay. All right, now we have to find whip. Okay, all right. And yeah, there's like, uh, like if you want an MP3 player that you can attach XLR headphones to, then, then something like that. Or the, if you want the real, the real good MP3 player setup. Uh, I guess you wouldn't be using MP3 players for your... Let's just call it a portable music player. So you'd have your portable music player, and then you'd also have a DAC, and maybe an amplifier to go with... <laughs> like, audiophile stuff is wild. It's completely bonkers, this, the, the audiophile stuff. And I already mentioned before, like, I, um... Or I mentioned yesterday that I, uh, I bought some, uh, power conditioners recently. Uh, I've only received one in the mail so far. Uh, but I did some science, some scientific testing with my audio interface. Um, so here, let me, let me show you what I can see on my audio interface. So here is, let me see if I can bring this up on stream. Um, window capture, FFT, and then this, there we go. Okay, so this is, this is what my audio interface can see. This is the audio that's coming in from, uh, from the console. So if I lower the noise floor here to something like this, you can see the tones that's being generated from the system like that. So I compared uh, the image from the spectrum analyzer here, or this is this is called an FFT, the fast Fourier transformation. I compared this with a power clean version and a non-power clean version to see if there was any difference at all in the signal. And the power cleaner made the signal noisier. <laughs> so, so that's uh, that's from one test that I did so far with it. But the result of my scientific test was the power cleaner made made the signal noisier than without using the power cleaner. <laughs> so sure. But I've got two more of them coming in the mail from Goodwill. I did not pay a huge amount of money for them, so... I'm, and if anything, they're going to be fancy surge protectors, as far as I'm concerned, but... But those are certainly... Certainly going to be a thing. So the other ones that I ordered are from more reputable companies. Uh... So, 
Yeah, we'll see. But yeah, if, if you go on YouTube and look up like audio file reviews of power conditioners, um, they'll even say like, oh man, I think this is snake oil right off the bat. And then they, they launch into like, oh man, I tested it. And there's night and day difference. And there's so much more space in the headroom. The frequencies are are crystal clear. It's, it's like I'm there. The, the harmonics of the, the spaciousness of the sound is vibrant. The, the voices stand out way more. The noise floor is practically through the ground. Uh-huh. And this is, this is all from objective or subjective listening. And some of the guys even said like, it, it'll be too much work for me to set up a proper blind test for this. So I'm just gonna imagine that's a blind test and, and give you my unbiased opinion of this thing that I bought. <laughs> oh my God. Like if you want some wild shit, look up audio file stuff. Like some of it, some of it has merit, but but so far, objectively, from stuff that I've seen with power conditioners, it is all complete horseshit. But, who knows? Uh, there is further testing to be done. <laughs> okay. Warning, Zubat is a bloodsucker. Okay. Oh god, that sounds horrible hidden. But then again, as as I say all that about audiophiles, I I literally have in the mail um, a set of fifty dollar uh, microphone cables coming in the mail from across the country. So, <laughs> but the, I, my reason for getting those is that I've been using a really awful uh, cable for my um, my microphone and headphones that I could do better with my cables. But otherwise, I am, I am a huge hypocrite otherwise. All right. Oh, baby backup tapes. Maximalist. Well, the, the thing is, is that, uh, especially with with analog things is that if you have a weak link in your in your chain for um, oh god not again uh, usually the the weakest part of your your audio system will affect pretty much everything along the chain oh come on Yeah, yeah, the, the specialty audiophile grade HDMI cables or digital cables, those are, oh baby, those things. There are some that, that do actually do something though, like the M audio cable or M, M labs, or whatever it is, because those actually have active circuitry in them to uh, process the signal uh, and do like smoothing or whatever it does. All right, I gotta go heal already because we got ruined by that Clefairy. Um, those things are different, but for the most part, a digital cable is a digital cable. Unless it's a very, very bad digital cable that will give you dropouts. Or it's an optical cable, a fiber optic cable that uh, that broke at some part along it, because you can't uh, you can't wind up those types of cables too tightly, or else it'll break the the plastic core, and then it'll just straight up not work. <laughs> gold plated. Well, well, the thing about gold plating on. Um, on connectors is that uh, gold is actually less conductive than uh, silver plated conductors but uh, it's more resistant to corrosion I think is is what the deal is with them um, with those yeah 
Yeah, we're robbing them. <laughs> when we beat them. Okay, there's there's the Zubat. All right. Are you ready? It's time. So we, we got to put our schoolyard knowledge to use again. All right, here we go. Eh? Got him. Down and B never fails. All right, we got ourselves an Ibiza Zubats. Forms colonies in perpetually dark places. Uses ultrasonic waves to identify and approach targets. So, so Zubat is 17 pounds. Holy crap. <laughs> and two feet? So that's, that's like... Coming across a, an actual IRL Zubat would probably be terrifying. But I think there actually are bats that are that big. Uh... Our Ibiza Zubats. Okay, so how is the lad doing? 17. Okay. You fly over your house? Oh man. There's a uh, there's actually bats in the um the southwest US, but it's mostly in uh uh western Texas. There's a lot of bats. This was just been in the cave. All right, bug catcher. Still fighting bugs this far into the game. So I think, I think poison, does poison pers persist after uh, battle's over? I can't remember. I think it does. And it's gonna, like, flash the screen or something until we either cure it or Pikachu dies. <laughs> Largest metro bat populations? I believe it, in Texas. Because, like, um, San Antonio Spurs NBA games, like, every other game that they do at home, there's, like, a bat that interrupts play. It's like, hey, there's a bat loose in the arena. Get out the, the nets to catch this bat. And it's like every game. <laughs> like, I don't need, how would those bats even get into the arena? Like, are they leaving the doors open? Overnight? Cause like other arenas, like it's not like they have random birds flying around in the arena. Bird's getting to Costco. Well, uh, Costco's doors are always open. Or at least the ones the ones in California are. I don't know about elsewhere, but... I'd imagine they don't leave them open in places where it's actually snowy. Alright, we gotta go heal up our... Our Pikachu. Okay, TM12, which is... What? Water gun, okay. So that's gonna be useful for... Or that would have been useful against Brock, but too late now, I guess. Because doesn't, doesn't water do extra damage to uh, Brock? Every Costco's birds, well, well, the ones in Southern California um, at least have seagulls all over the place. I'm assuming seagulls aren't a problem in, in most of the country and the Costco's around, but the ones in California, there's fucking seagulls everywhere. <laughs> I haven't even been to one in NorCal yet, so I don't know if they're, if they're an issue in the, the NorCal ones, but man. SoCal Costco's just filled with seagulls. 
And seagulls are loud as fuck. If you've never, like, heard seagulls before, I guess... Maybe if you only know them from movies. And they, they make their screeching a little bit in movies. Like, seagulls are constantly screaming at each other. IRL. And they are just the worst. And it was especially bad in high school and middle school in Southern California because we have open... Um, open floor plans for uh, for our schools, so it's just a bunch of like a bunch of separate buildings that uh, uh, that are just in the, this open thing. Uh, so there's plenty of places for seagulls to just lie down into the quad at school and then just scream constantly outside of the outside of classrooms. <laughs> So you'd be taking a test or writing a paper, and then suddenly there's seagulls yelling at each other outside. And then you'd have to have, like, the maintenance people on their, their golf carts chase after the seagulls. Uh-oh. The lot became confused. Fuck. So this, this is why fighting Zubats... Or it can be a pain sometimes, because they can do supersonic. Okay. Alright. Uh, okay, I think we'll just... We'll just go with the law. The law only from now on. Okay, so I don't think I need to make a map of this area, because this is... A pretty straightforward area from what I remember. Super effective. Okay, well that's... That might be an issue. We Team Rocket are Pokemon gangsters. Alright. Rocket wants to fight. Same true. Okay. Well, this is fine because we have grass attacks. Okay. 219. All right, that'll that'll do it. It's actually weird now that I'm uh, I live really close to the beach at my current place, but I hardly ever hear seagulls around here. And when I was living uh, living down south, I was like 15 or 20 minutes inland of, uh, of the ocean, but there were seagulls everywhere. It's bizarre. <laughs> I don't know why that is. Probably because I, I guess most of the seagulls in, uh, in my area are probably down by the wharf where all the fisheries are. Because why would they hang around here where there's no fish when there's all sorts of free fish over at the, uh, the fishery? But we do get owls over here, and owls are almost as annoying as seagulls. Because an owl will just sit outside your window and hoot as loud as it can at like four in the morning. And owls are fucking loud. <laughs> Owls are adorable, but not when you have to listen to them. Alright. Probably just gonna have to potion here, because... Uh... Alright, we don't actually have to fight all these Zubats. I just remembered we have an escape... <laughs> a run. And I don't think I've ever ran yet. Okay, HP up. 
should I... Should I use this on my, uh... My the law? Would it make sense to use it on the law? And like, is there... Is this... Does this HP up by a certain amount? Or is this, uh... Determined by level? Or is it a... It's the, the save to the internal memory. Wait a second. Is there... Was that the only thing that was here? Alright, level 12 pair. Dang, level 12? Okay. It was HP up. Okay. All right. So I, isn't the, the Paris one of the things you want to get from the... for the speed run? All right, down and B did not fail me. Got him. Burrows suck tree roots. Mushrooms on its back grow by drawing nutrients from the bug host. So here's another another thing that's like, it, are the mushrooms part of the Pokemon? Or is the Pokemon the... the like... All right, Paris is transferred to someone's PC. Great. Yeah, I, I remember there was a particular reason why they wanted a Paris. Okay. So is this a dead end? Did I go all that way just for the HP up and uh, a team rocket fight? Uh. Yeah, that, okay. Great. Great. Okay. Symbiosis, but but a bacteria isn't a person, though, right? Oh god, I went the complete wrong way. Oh no. All right, super nerd, Magnemite. This is uh. All right, fine wit, you got this. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Voltor is... Oh god. Okay. No, they import those uh, those sheep things from the new one. Okay. The Wulu, I think it's called. The only thing I know about about recent Pokemon is all I, the fan art I see on Twitter. That is, that is the most Pokemon knowledge I have <laughs> of the new ones. And by new ones, I mean anything released after Pokemon Blue. <laughs> hey. 
Just another dead end. <sighs> Alright, rare candy? So the... The rare candy is, uh... Is the instant... Instant level up, I think? Is the, the rare candy? I think? I guess another really good item, if I remember correctly. Alright, let's just... Let's play it safe here. That's right! Oh man. I'm like 2 for 40. when I said I wouldn't need a map for this because I'm sure this would be straightforward. Yeah. I think I'm going... Okay, this this looks promising. Okay, TM1. Mega Punch. Okay. I'm not even sure what Mega Punch would be good for. <sighs> Hello, Tion. Welcome. Sure. Welcome, folks. Are raids even a thing on YouTube? I, I don't even know. But welcome. Oh shit, we can get our, uh, we can get a Geodude. Alright, this one's for you, J Geodude. We're gonna get your boy. Oh, it's fine. I, I appreciate the raid. Welcome. So if you're unfamiliar with my channel, I'm, I'm guessing most of you are. Uh, I stream backlog playthroughs, the games that I've been meaning to play for years. And I also do a thing on my channel called PS Explosion, where I play through nearly every uh, PlayStation game, except the ones I don't want to play. Oh, down in B. Got him. All right. And we're currently on PS Explosion game number 200. Because I've been doing PS Explosion since like 2015, I want to say. Alright. And I've also never played any of the Pokemon games before, so this is, this is all new to me. Geodud. Yeah, I, uh, I bought Pokemon Yellow in 2001, I think, and got like a third of the way through that one. Uh, never beat it. I, I've tried throughout the years to, uh, to play through this, um, and have never, never gotten to it. My favorite PS1 game is, it's called The Grand Stream Saga. It is an action RPG, and it is incredible. But like top, let's say top three, or no, top five PS1 games, the Grand Stream Saga, Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VIII, Overblood, and Alundra. That would probably be my top five PS1 games. In no particular order, except Grand Stream Saga being in first place. Alright, this is a problem for Blob being confused here. I, I think if I, if I put away the law and bring him back, the confusion reverts, right?
I remember that being a thing? That is right, okay. Good. I did remember correctly for once. Alright. Send out Pikachu to get blown up here. Actually, Pikachu might, uh... Bring us home. Alright, it may not attack, but of course it's going to end with the wrap, because why not? Why not? Nice paralysis game. Okay. There's our chance. All right. Sure. All right. This all seems fine. Okay. Wait, is this another... Is this another dead end? Oh my god. Oh. Okay, that was a secret item, I guess. Sure. Uh, I love mazes. I don't know any of the secret items, <laughs> so I so know. By the way, people in YouTube chat, my um, my main chat. I, I have two chats essentially. I have the YouTube chat and also my uh, my Discord chat. So if I am. Talking to seemingly no one, that's because it's in my Discord chat. Or vice versa. <laughs> Alright, more Ratatas. Uh, and those are level 19, so I can't do anything with those. Oh, wait, level 10. Out. Sure. Pro Gaming with Ed says hello from the Discord chat, directed at YouTube chat. Uh, alright, Pikachu. Bring us home. You're welcome, Ed. Okay. Pikachu is almost ready to take on Misty. NPC said something about the Moonstone. I think it was... He gave it to Clefairy to... To evolve into... Whatever Clefairy evolves into, I think. Or powers him up, maybe? Can't remember. I'm sure it's not important, because I'm probably not going to get Clefairy. Four Moonstones and four Pokemon that need Moonstone. Interesting. Huh. 
So if you give the Moonstone to the wrong Pokemon, then then that's it. You just can't. <laughs> you can't catch them all then. Though really, if you get a Pokemon through evolution, is it really catching them? Think about it. Does it really count? Oh, it doesn't let you. Okay, that's why. I see. The game isn't that mean. It, this isn't a Sierra game. Okay. But yeah, for uh, for those new to the channel, also. Um, Wondering about the the other types of content here. I I play nearly everything that isn't like a sports game. Uh, yeah, pretty much everything but sports. Come to think of it, like the last casual games that I played was uh, uh I played through all the King's Quest games because I really like the old Sierra King's Quest stuff. And then PS Explosion, we do everything but sports games. Um. And like an example of another backlog game that we'll be doing is uh, Steel Battalion is going to be coming up soon because my foot uh, my foot is able to operate a uh, pedal pretty soon. I might die to this, uh, Stratocade, because the law is, is... The PP is getting very short on the law here. And this might be an issue. That's a lot of XP, though. Okay. Yeah, I have uh, I have the equipment to to play and stream games on nearly every system. And uh, there's games on pretty much every system that I want to play and stream. So no shortage of content here. All right, so let's just run from everything <laughs> until we. We get through here because if I remember correctly there's like two more fights before the the end of this section I seem to remember this area being particularly horrible that it's finite resources in this game. Okay. Yeah, the first cave in Pokemon Snap was, was pretty bad. It got down to like 5 FPS. Might as well use this. Just to save myself an extra tackle. Actually, not that it will matter, it seems. <laughs> I probably should have brought it like Pikachu for that. But oh well. Mistakes were made. Uh, all right. Too bad on too bad violence here. Perfect. 
perfect. Super effective for all that. Wait, does the other Zubat not have Leech Life? Am I a Gen 1-er? I assume that means that I, I only like Gen 1. Well, here's the thing. This is... Pokemon Blue is the only Pokemon game that I've ever played. <laughs> I have all of them. Uh, and the most Pokemon I've ever played is... Uh, let's put some here. Uh, I played through roughly half of Pokemon Blue in 2002, and then that's it. That is the only Pokemon experience I've ever had, so I guess that makes me a Gen 1-er. Because I haven't played the other ones to know if they're any good, so I'm assuming they're bad. But a lot of these, um, like, late 80s, early 90s uh, console games I haven't played, because that was, um, I kind of switched off between console and PC gaming throughout my life. Like, I'm, I'm 34. I started gaming in 1990, so I've been at this for a while, but I, uh, um, I switched off between PC gaming and console gaming, like, from, from, like, 90 to 94, it was NES and Genesis for me, and then uh, I switched over to PC gaming until the late 90s, and then I switched back to console for PlayStation stuff, and then did both console and PC for uh, early 2000s until nowadays. So there, there's quite a few blank spots in my... Uh, console repertoire. Alright, that's a quality fight we got here. Uh, I think Pidgey's probably the best bet for this. Well done, Pidgey. Took one for the team. Alright. Please be super effective. Oh, God. Alright, perfect. It may not attack, but of course it's going to. And... Okay, good. That's fine. All right, Pikachu took one for the team. <laughs> oh God, okay. Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, that was your first game ever? Cause man, that's a, that's a difficult one to start off with. I think my first one was Super Mario Brothers on the NES, which I had never beaten until, like, was it six months ago when we, we did the playthrough of that? Actually, I guess that was a year ago at this point. Okay. First console game was Grand Scream Saga. Nice. And it all went downhill from there, Ed. tackles left. This is not optimal. Oh, man. Alright, 
Lightning Seed. Bring it home. Got ourselves a strat. <laughs> Might as well use up these growls. Yeah, there really aren't any other RPGs quite like Grand Stream. Like, maybe some Super Nintendo era games? Oh no, two damage. Alright, I gotta save that last tackle, just in case there's another... ...fight we have to do. one do we want? Helix Fossil or Dome Fossil? So this is the... This is the snail one, I think? And this is the... I don't think the manual says anything about this. I don't think it really matters, come to think of it, because... Yeah, these aren't even in the manual. Okay. Sure. Helix? Alright. Let's do it. So I guess in order to catch them all, you need the, the other person to, to get the other one. Cinnabar Island. There's the Pokemon Lab. Generating fossils. Okay. Alright, I just gotta hope that there's no more mandatory fights here. Oh, sick. Okay. Alright. Mount Moon to Cerulean City. Okay. Uh, hopefully there's a Pokemon Center... ...somewhere. Bike shop. Oh, dang. All right. Step away for uh, for a couple minutes here, and I'll be back, and we will I'll show you more of my Pokemans. Stay tuned.
Oh, man. I love pranks. Catch me without cheating, the trainer flag glitch. Was, isn't that cheating? <laughs> is it glitching cheating? According to every YouTube comment on the speedrun, it is. All right. Bill has lots of Pokemon. He collects her own too. Okay. Don't need Game Shark. Yeah, that's true. I guess you, you need, like, missing no or whatever it is. Missing number. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm, I'm pretty sure we can't take on Misty yet. Because our Pikachu's level 11, and uh, I don't think that's gonna go well. Unless we do, like, a tag team. right now? Okay, in there. Welcome back, Emily. I think there was... Isn't there a rare candy, like, right here? I want to say? There's, like... There's items that aren't in obvious places. Yeah! I remember this. I remember this from the speedrun. Okay. Got him. And that's that's probably the only one I actually remember <laughs> for the speedrun. Uh Okay. Jim Jim. Here's my advice. Don't lose. Pro who uses water Pokemon can drain all their water with plant Pokemon. With plant Pokemon? What? Huh. Sure. Hey, Piotr. How long have I been streaming on YouTube for? Uh... I started streaming again... Like... Regularly, let's say three months ago, I guess. Uh, I've been streaming very occasionally off and on before then. Um, but regular streams started up still relatively recently. So good that you, uh, you found me again. Good to see you. Okay, so looks like we can skip that fight. 
I think if you skip a fight, you can't do it later after you beat the trainer or the, the gym leader. Hmm. That's right. Of course it is. Man, level 19. Okay, our, our Pikachu does not stand a chance, I guess. Ugh. So water... So water type attacks are not gonna... They're gonna be not effective uh, against the law. And our attacks are going to be normal damage, I guess. Thank you, Peter. Yep, Peace Explosion continues. Um, we actually did did PS Explosion today with uh, number 199 was uh, Cardinal Sin. It was a fighting game, and it uh, it was good, but the the difficulty of that game was way too high. Uh, so I ended up not really liking it as much as I I probably would have had the game been more accessible. Um, it played like Soul Calibur, which I like Soul Calibur. Uh, but unfortunately, the, even on easy difficulty, the, the difficulty curve was like straight up after the, <laughs> the second fight. So we only played about an hour of that one. The next, uh, the next game in PS Explosion is, uh, what's it called? Grass is strong against water? Okay. Well, we'll... We'll try that out now, I guess. I guess I should have the, the resistances open in the manual. This enormous chart here. Alright, hold up. Let's, uh... Let's confirm... Confirm your findings before going any further. Okay. So... Uh... Water type is three. So, three against grass, which is five. It's right there. So, great. So for attacking... Oh god, this... Okay. That, that hurt my brain trying to figure that out. Alright, I'll just take your word for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, uh, the next piece of explosion game is a strategy RPG. It's, uh... The, the title is eluding me right now. Uh, but it's like some musical... musical game. I guess I can just scroll down my Twitter. Uh, it is... Rhapsody. Rhapsody, a musical adventure. Is the game. No, it's not. <laughs> That's an enormous chart. Okay, poison powder. All right, do we want poison powder? Should I get rid of growl and replace it with poison powder? All right, poke experts. What do I do here? What's what's the play? Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, because Growl is so far pretty useless. Alright. Growl. Good point, Ed. Growl is useless, and Poison Powder does slightly more than, than nothing, so... Sure. And I'm assuming Poison Powder is is a dot, but it doesn't, uh, doesn't immediately damage up front, I guess? Uh, no, I am, I am no longer speedrunning. Uh, for two reasons. One, the minor reason is uh, that I lost interest in speedrunning, and two, more importantly, uh, speedrunning completely ruined my hands. I had to stop playing video games for a an actual calendar year because my hands hurt so badly I couldn't hold a mouse or a controller for a very long time. So, I don't want that happening again, so I will uh, not be speedrunning anymore. <laughs> I want to take my time and take it easy on my hands. Just playing games casually. 
I will leave the speedrunning to the youngins who can afford to uh, mess up their uh, their hands. Alright, so before taking on Misty, I'm going to go heal up just in case this goes horribly sideways. I'm sure we'll be fine, but just to be sure. The Pokemon Center is right here. Might as well. Poison Leech Seed and then Potion until they die. Yeah, but... Money is a finite resource in this game, though, and I can't just keep buying potions, you know? I, I suppose I can, but... Policy about Pokemon. What is your approach when you catch Pokemon? All out defensive with water type. Sure. Alright. There's Misty. She looks slightly different from the cartoon. with Charmander, I bet is real, uh, real fun. When does, when does it get real bad with, the uh, with the Bulbasaur, with the grass starter? Like the, the Fire Island? Or Cinnabar, or whatever it is? Team Rocket robbed him. I suppose we could, uh, we could get a bike. Uh oh. Alright. Bulbasaur would never be good again. Alright. We need to send Bulbasaur off to the, sh the, the glue factory. Pidgeotto. Hey, if Growl would have done something. Alright, come on, Poison Powder. Okay, there we go. Alright, we have now PlayStation Networks. That Pidgeotto. Okay, not effective. Okay. 
man, look at that damage. Okay. Uh. <laughs> then everything else is like level 11. Alright. Let's do this peak too. Okay. Okay. Alright, Pikachu, bring it home. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. This is the final boss, so it's fine. Got him. Abra. for the next one. Okay. Alright. Beat seed. Poison powder. Kill. Oh. All right, or not. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. That's uh, that's pretty effective having both of those on there. be a double KO? Okay. Alright. Clutch poison. Got him. Oh yeah, uh, that's another thing I remember from the speed run. They intentionally play or do the run on critical health because it skips the, the cries when the, the new Pokemon comes out. So you have to listen to the the warning bell for the entire uh, entire run. Okay, Pokemon feels world famous as a Pokemania. Pokemon storage system storage system is not in all caps, so that it can't be a real thing. Okay. Speaking of the the Pokemon storage system, I think there's uh, actually decent Pokemon stored in there that I haven't uh, done anything with. Oh yeah, Red Bar. Yeah, that's what they call it. That's right. I think I have a level 12 Paris. Come to think of it, I think I have that in storage that I could use. So you can get rid of, like, the, the Weedle or Caterpie that probably never going to get used otherwise. Alright. Uh... Yeah, so the Weedle and Caterpie. Sorry, not sorry. Get out of my inventory. Yeah, we got Geodud and Paris, so let's... Let's get those.
Okay. Alright, and I seem to recall after the Gary fight, there's like, there's a gauntlet of five trainers, I think, on the bridge north of town. Yeah, but you can't, uh, can't get past. Yeah, there's five. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I remember this. Okay. How big of a problem is it going to be later in the game if I just use nothing but the law for the next <laughs> part of the game? I I think the last time I tried to play this was a couple years ago, and I I tried doing the speedrun strats of getting the Nido Nido Ran or whatever it is, and, and using Horn Attack, and just use that to get through most of the game. But I don't plan on, on doing that for this playthrough. Hopefully... Hopefully it won't be too big of a problem. A little mean is more grinding, I guess. Because it's an RPG, you do that. Late game? Okay. Well, that'll be a future furry problem, and not a current furry problem. I'll let tomorrow furry deal with that, the repercussions of this, uh, this decision. Because present furry is giving these trainers the business with the law. Another one of similar level. Okay, well I can I can probably just catch something that's high level later. Maybe maybe this time I'll figure out how the the Savari zone works because because I never been able to figure out how the Safari zone actually works before. You get a bunch of Pokeballs and then. I thought you could keep what you catch, but apparently not. I, I don't know. Okay. Articuno? Isn't that one of the, the legendary bird Pokemon? I think? Or Zapdos? Is that the... Is that the water equivalent of Zapdos? I think. How's that super effect? What is Articuno backwards then? up here. Oh, dang.
feel. We're gonna be evolving soon again, aren't we? Isn't it like level level thirty maybe? It's uh if that happens. Like if I use those uh the rare can oh 36? Okay, never mind that. <laughs> Still gonna be a while. And yeah, isn't there um isn't there some downside to uh to evolving too fast, I want to say. Like, you don't learn all the moves that you can. Like, I I seem to recall uh, when I when I last tried to play this, I did the Nido, Nido Ran strats. Um, and I missed I missed the level where you're supposed to learn Thrash. So I never actually had Thrash. Uh, and that that I think that's what derailed my last playthrough. Like, I, I said, oh, fuck this. I, why bother playing this if I have to actually try and not just tease my way through? Okay. Fabulous prize. A nugget. Would you like to join Team Rocket? Yes. Want to join? Yes. Level? Huh. Interesting. Okay. Uh I think this is another point in the speed run where uh where if you get a wrap it's kind of over. Yeah, yeah, you have to use the stone to, to evolve. Remember that being a thing. And I think you, you get the stone from the, the cave, I want to say, from Mount Moon. Did thing. Do I even need to bother healing? Doesn't look like it. Okay. I think I'm getting close to the inventory limit here, too. We got a lot of stuff. Alright. What we got? Thunder Wave. It's, uh... Doesn't Pikachu already have that? Yeah. We can have two thunder waves. Anything good that we can actually do? I even even have any pokeballs. We don't even. Have okay. This is normal type and fighting type, I think. I don't think Vine Whip does anything to, uh, to match up.
Brett, Brett put the lead back. Sure. remember correctly the next the next fight that should pose any sort of challenge is the the fight on the cruise ship with Gary again I think and for that the problem is likely going to be uh Charmander, that it's probably going to be a Charizard. And also the bird, Pidgeotto, is probably still going to be a problem. Right, like this one, and then you have to go back to the Poke Center. Mewtwo King learns Flash Thresh and it evolves. Accidentally not learned it? Huh. Well. Probably. Or maybe it was Drill Attack? I can't remember. Horn Attack, whatever it is. There's one of the... One of the attacks Speedrun used to, uh, to cheese fights. One of them I very specifically did not learn. And it really bummed me out. Bummed me out enough to, to not finish my playthrough. Isn't Surge after the uh, the cruise ship though? Yeah, Horn Attack is the uh, the one shot, isn't it? And that's that's why that one is so special. Well, you have to get there first. I'm sure you can do it whenever, but you also have to get there. Alright, let's heal up, and then... Are we to Bill's house, I guess? I should probably deposit some of those items, too. Because I'm not going to be using those TMs anytime soon. And we should get some more Pokeballs. I think you get cut from the, um, the captain of the ship, I think? Maybe? Yeah, the SS Ann. Uh, Ashes PC? I think this is the item PC. Yeah. Okay, deposit. That. I assume the ether uh, restores your your PPs to full length, and then I think the nuggets just for selling. I want to say no. I need the map. It is very important. I played enough RPGs that don't have maps to to not throw away a map given to me. I need to know where we are at all times. Because how else would I know that we need to go to the sea cottage? And then down there to the SSN. Alright, so we're going to the, the Poke Mart. To... Get, uh, we need, we need some balls, 
Uh, we can probably get some potions while we're there too. Slow, bro. That's having Monster Rancher flashbacks there. All right, Pokeball. Let's, uh, sure. That should last us long enough. Uh, sure. All right, that'll be good enough. I'm assuming the Nuggets sell for the same amount wherever. So for 5,000 anywhere. I'm too late now, if that's not the case. Uh... Okay. Fixed prices everywhere. Okay. And I think you can you can buy the the X like X attack X defend and those in the um, the big department store I think in the the big city later in the game which I think is in the, the center of the map somewhere. See this is this is why I have the map because otherwise it's uh saffron. I think. Saffron or Celadon as the, the big building. guy. I've got a girlfriend. Good on you. Alright, later, Zach. Have a good one. Have a good sleep. Thank you for tuning it in. Alright. Trying to remember when when was the last uh, the last death we even had? Was that to uh, so we died to Gary at the start, and then was it to Diglett in the in the gym, the first gym? I think we're due. Yeah. Well, no, it wasn't even to Brock. It was to. The trainer before Brock was the... Alright. Only two wraps. That's good enough, I guess. Okay. Alright, so I think you can get in there without cut if you... If you fight this guy on the left and then just get this other guy to walk down, but whatever. I'm sure that's that's not a good item up there. Alright, so these so her Pokemon is not cute apparently. Oddish? What is that even a picture of, Ed? Oh shit, it's a Diglett. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, so I don't think anything Oddish can do can, can hurt the law. Yep. Nice. I, 
can, uh, I can kind of 3D print stuff like that. Like, I have a... I have a, a Zenyatta figurine that you can't see because, you know, cameras. But... I can 3D print stuff like that now. One of the few uses of 3D printer, making trinkets like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the colleges and libraries have um, have 3D printers that you can just just use like any other printer. And yeah, like, uh, um, you can actually print pretty useful stuff. Like, I, uh, I printed out these, this is a little bracket that I put on my, um, my wire shelving. So I used it as, like, a coat hanger or to, to hang, like, cables on and, and headphones on. So print stuff like that. Um, if you go to thingiverse.com, thingiverse is the uh, is the the website that's this a repository of all the free 3D stuff you can print? Just look on there and see if there's anything that you want to print. And there's there's stuff like figurines, and I'm sure there's plenty of Pokemon on there. If uh if you want to 3D print something like that, may I have a quick there? Sure. The cottage bill lives here. Okay. True Blue Pokemania. No. are all trainers. Oh, baby. Okay. All right. Guess we're going there next. Or guess I better consult my handy dandy map so I know where the SSN is. Okay, Sea Cottage to Route 5 to Route 6 down to Brazilian City. See? That's, that's why I have the map. Don't have to guess. The so Route 5. Do I even need to heal? I do. Okay. Alright. Meowth can talk. Can't, uh, can't Mewtwo talk as well? In the, the Pokemon lore? Or does telepathic talking not count?
Pressing B during evolution cancels the whole process. Sure. Alright, so somehow we get go to the south of here. Uh, different enough, okay. And the rest of the Pokemon, they can talk, but it's like R2-D2 talking, where only certain people can understand it, I guess. So there's talking, and then there's communicating. Two completely very different things. All right. Trying to dig their way into no good. Isn't it an HM for digging? Pokemon books. Oh, it is a TM? Alright. So what happens if you, uh... If you teach Dig to something and then, uh... Dismiss them. Or dispose, or whatever the... The Pokemon Bill term is. Well, isn't Escape Rope for, um... Teleporting out of dungeons, though? Or buildings? Any interior location? So you're saying Dig does the same thing? That's that's pretty useful actually. some method at some point. Okay, so over here is the, uh... Oh, there's that. Can't do anything about that. Is where we want to go. That's the underground path. So that's all right. This song slaps. All right. It makes every dialogue faster until you quit the game. Really. Huh. All right. Um, 
Gee, I'm thirsty. Okay. Pokermans we can get here. This is not a cool Pokerman. Level 13 Bell Sprout. Gonna get the business. Only cool Pokermans allowed. Okay, it does have rap. Summer. Alright. I'm assuming all the rest of the Pokemans over there are gonna be lame like that, so. Oh. It probably has to put it in fast text mode for it to to draw that um the super long price for the item. Or for the bike in the shop. And then just keeps that, uh, uh... The quick text, um... Text speed. By exiting that, uh... That menu outside of the intended way to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. All right, fighting a bunch of pigeons. I'm assuming that's not used in the speed run because they're on some sort of manipulation thing, I guess, or it's just not fast enough. Box. Okay, well that's... <laughs> that becomes way less useful. If you're going to be doing any glitches, you might as well completely break the game rather than <laughs> save a little time on text. Though it, it could be like Zelda where it's no major glitches. God, what a dumb category. And of course, it's the popular one. No major glitches. Universally strong Pokemon. Oh, what about Mewtwo? Checkmate. Okay. So next stop is the, the cruise ship. Where we're probably going to get completely blown up by, uh, by Gary. But we'll see. Level 27. That, that might be fine. And we can we can cheese it out with the the poison and the, the seed spell, I guess. Okay. 
I too abandon Pokemon that are not useful because you can only keep six at a time. Super Potion. Okay, that might be useful for... Uh... For this fight coming up. ship here? Is it, uh... There it is. Million Harbor. Alright, get ready for some incredible... Level 19. Okay, this is... This is doable. be fine. Alright, later Ed. Have a good walk. A good six in the morning walk. Potion. That's cheating, Gary. Oh my god, come on. Be fine. Oh, man. Okay, I'll take that. I think teleport can one shot you. God. That Pidgeotto gave me a uh, an accuracy down earlier that I think I can revert by just uh, briefly taking out the law. And we'll uh Geodud should be able to survive a, uh, an ember. Hopefully. Okay. Alright, the law. Bring it home. Oh, good. Ugh. This is, this is the problem. Alright, I think 
think we got this now. I do need to land a poison powder, though. Okay, now we're good. Now I can just kind of win the fight by... by chip damage if I need to. I shouldn't need to? But I can. That didn't do much damage at all. What? Why did Tackle do, like, no damage? Good thing I bought four super potions. Oh, it cuts your attack? Oh, man. Okay. Good thing I bought four potions. All right. Of course, the last one's a crit. Unnecessary crit. Still managed to do it, though. I remember this fight being very difficult. I already have that Paris. That'll that'll be for cuts. Okay. All right. So now what? <laughs> I guess the map will just show me. Uh. Okay. SSN to Route Nine. Okay, so we have to we have to cut through what's up there, I guess. To the rock tunnel to the lab. Okay. And that's why I didn't put the map in storage. <laughs> Incredible animation here. I love that the water behind the boat scrolls to the left as well. buy some more super potions. Now that I used up all of those.
All right. So, back up north. Then. Everyone on the ship died in the anime? Wasn't there like, there was a storm and then Team Rocket showed up and they they had like the, the backpacks with the, the suction, suction things on them. And then Butterfree got killed or something. There's something about, the episode was Bye Bye Butterfree, I wanna say? Cause I actually watched some of the cartoon not that long ago, cause it's on, um, it's on Netflix. And I think that's right around when I stopped watching the show. <laughs> Cause yep, that is, that certainly is a, a 90s anime. under the truck next to the ship? Oh, man. That passed around on the schoolyard back in the day. If you press down and B next to the truck, you'll get a Mew. Okay. Uh... There's, there's a bush to cut over here. And we need to teach Paris. Oh, the lock can learn cut as well. Nah. Let's make Paris learn it. Alright. So we have to get up next to it and then go to Pokemon, Paris, cut. Okay. does anything. Okay. Alright. Miss Bat. Yep. The Law, of course. The Law is always the main character. How you doing, Spat? We have paralysis and we have rap. Uh... <laughs> okay, I can finally do something. I should have used Leech Seed. Uh, at least we would have gotten life back during all that. Short D&D, &D, but you're bad at DMing? I've never played D&D &D before, so I can't help you there. I've been doing good. I've been doing good, man. I've gone like three weeks since getting injured again. <laughs> so 2020 has been pretty good so far. Yep, rap is... is a great mechanic. Oh, 
Holy- Oh, God. Heather Bell Sprout. We'll be fine. Blackboard with X days since injury? What? I could just search on my Twitter feed for, for the words, Today I injured this body part. Because the, the most recent one was I fell down the stairs in my apartment while I was taking out the garbage. Um, but that was on New Year's Eve, so technically no, uh, um, uh, no injuries this year. Uh, the two deaths, so, so the first death here was against Gary Oak at the very beginning of the game. I lost to Gary because, uh, I think he got a bunch of crits and then also got a growl off right at the start. Um, and then the second death was to, uh, one of the trainers in, uh, the first gym. The, the Diglett completely wrecked me. Like, it, it hit my, uh, my one good Pokemon with the crit right at the start, and then the rest of my Pokemon were, like, level two. So, it's, uh, it didn't go very well. <laughs> And then here's what we're working with. We got we got an Ivysaur, a Pikachu, a regular ass Pidgey, a Zubat, Paris, and a Geodude. And that's uh that's what we got. But I'm I'm pretty much just using the Ivysaur because you know why use anything else? Oh, it's paralyzed too. I just noticed that. Oh uh, shit. Oh great, I can't go. <laughs> um. Okay. Maybe this is a paralysis. Oh, it's not. Oh, God. I, I don't suppose I have a paralysis here. Uh, is, there, is there a Pokemon Center over here? Of course not. Of course not. Okay. Level 21. Uh oh. And it's a fire type. Fully paralyzed. Great. Fantastic. Alright. Good thing the law is not affected by yellow. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright. Come on, the law. Okay. Good. Don't burn me. Holy shit! <laughs> okay. Not gonna take any chances here. Though I guess a death... A death would probably be fine, because then I would be not paralyzed anymore, because I'd be dead. Yeah, I would... Oh, God. Cardinal Sin... Yeah, Cardinal Sin... Um, Cardinal Sin's difficulty was the problem with Cardinal Sin. Even set to easy, it, it was extremely difficult. 
so I uh, I bailed on Cardinal Sin at the 58 minute mark or so. So I used the button key code to uh, to allow us to see some of the endings, and the endings weren't even great. But um, but as far as the gameplay mechanics go, it it was actually a pretty good game. Uh, unfortunately, you just can't enjoy it because they made it just really, really, really difficult. <laughs> like, I had as much trouble on um, one of the story mode fights halfway through the story mode as I typically do with, like, a, a, a final boss on any other fighting game. Um, and the, the, the easy mode in the game was exactly the same difficulty as the normal mode was in the game. And then... There was hard and ultra hard above that, and those were hard and ultra hard, as it turns out. Um, why does it feel like I'm going the wrong way? Huh. Uh, so yeah, we uh, we bailed on that one, and then the um, uh, the next game, game number two hundred is uh some strategy RPG that I keep forgetting the name of. And then the game after that is Gunship. Uh, which is a shovelware light combat game where you're, you're flying a helicopter. No, I didn't bother consulting the doctor because the, the doctor can't really help you with it. And you, you'd only be playing it to see the endings anyways. And they... Um, uh, there's a button cheat code to see the endings anyways, so... Sure. Yep, Shovelware light combat games. That's that's the real bangers of the PlayStation library, is light combat games. And... It certainly looks like one. Good old gunship. The, the, the thing that is, is kind of a bummer about, uh... Oh my god. Three times. And we're fully paralyzed, great. Uh, the thing that's kind of a bummer about Gunship is that uh, it doesn't support the, the cool dual joystick controller because it's, it's from 1996, so it's one of the early PS1 games. So that's a bummer. That would have been a cool uh, a cool game to use that on. But hey, at least it's probably going to be short. That's, that's enough. Oh my god, another paralyzed... That's another upside of uh, the Shovelware Flight Combat games is that they're usually short. Like, Bogey, Bogey Enemy 6 was, what, like, three hours total? So, I have a feeling Gunship is probably going to be a similar length. Okay, another B drill. And yeah, Rhapsody... I have no, no idea how long that one's going to be, but it's probably going to be pretty long. Um, and since... So, come to think of it, so the next PS Explosion game is going to be a strategy RPG. Um, I don't know, I might... I don't think we're going to be done with Pokemon by the time we get to... The wraps. I'm not sure how I feel about doing two RPGs on the channel side by side. Hmm. I don't know. I'll think about that. If we want to continue the um, the poke playthrough. Yeah. Well, at least we can. This thing, Holy paralyzed. Wait, what? All right, how about we just run this? this is... What? 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 Wait, what? Okay. Trying to learn Razor Leaf. Okay. Is... 
All right, Razor Leaf. All right, Poka, Poka experts. What should I do here? So I have Tackle, I have Poison, I have Seed, and Vine Whip. It's good, so I should get rid of Vine Whip then for, for Razor Leaf? Should I keep the other two uh, damage over times? Get rid of Poison? Poison Powder? Okay. Yeah, because poison, poison powder, you get like 35 charges of it, and I hardly ever use it. It's only for cheesing out stuff. And leech seed at least also gives you um, health back. So yeah, okay, we'll get rid of poison powder. All right. Razor leaf, huh? Wait, this just brings... What? Okay, well, at least we can go heal up again. I am confused, though. I guess I was supposed to go right? Back there? here. Is Razor Leaf the worst thing in the game? And I've gotten rid of the valuable poison powder for Razor Leaf. That was a 1 in 256 miss. <laughs> of course. Expect nothing less. Oh, man. All right, surely we won't get another one. All right, Venonat. Okay. That is 
That's quite the elaborate attack animation for something that didn't do a whole lot of damage. Yeah, the animation is cool. It's a shame it takes like 10 seconds. <laughs> so hopefully I won't have to use it a bunch. I think I saw a cave up to the upper left, but this is probably the way we have to go. Alright, there's our boy Meow. Alright, where's the leaf? Okay. All right. Grizzly's pretty good when it's not missing or being non effective. It seems like a, a good place to have a hidden item. been a gym I missed. I think there's, was it Surge's gym? All right, we're, all right, manual. Uh, all right, we defeated Junior Trainer. So, Vermilion City, the Thunder Badge. It also lets you fly all the time. Speed of all Pokemon increases. So I, I, I'm guessing we get Flash at some point. The, the game said something about Flash. Uh, yeah, I know you can do it without the light, but I'm I'm not a Pokemon expert. <laughs> and I need to beat Surge anyways at some point, right? Can't beat the game without uh, doing that. I guess we could try going through here because yeah it would be pretty far out of the way and we can go beat Surge later I guess and we're 
we're just gonna run for everything here anyways. So I guess the risk here is running into uh, a trainer that we can't see, but that's fine. We'll be fine. We just have to run from dozens of too bad encounters. Yeah, raise the leaf pool. We'll bring us home. All right. Razor Leaf is pretty good, it turns out. Turns out, pretty good. All right, I probably don't need to make a map for this. We got Razor Leaf, and we're currently in the, the very dark cave, because I, I didn't want to go back to, uh, to Vermilion and fight Surge, so we, we're wandering around in darkness. Yeah, Flash is, eh. It'll be fine. I'll just remember where I've been. But I, I probably get lost anyways, even if I can see where I'm going. So this is... This is fine. Alright, well, I, I'm pretty sure I can't, uh... I can't reasonably leave this thing, so we might as well just tackle it. Bulbasaur. They got similarly lost. Costume players? Sure. And we're just taking a rest. Pokemaniac. Uh oh. Uh. Alright, where's the beef? Save me. Okay. Don't burn me. Okay. Good. 
Oh, they're actually in costume in the, in the remake? Nice. Alright. hundred Zubats would like to speak to my man on the way out of this cave. Probably running into every enemy that you can run into in this area. Well, it's the I'm fine with not paying for repel for this part because you could just run from everything. It's just convenience, I guess. It's not like I'm speed. Not a big deal, and I can fight him if I want to. Like if I feel the need to. Okay, level 32, is this it? Nope, okay. got the big boy. The law is now in its final form. The plant blooms when it is absorbing solar energy. It stays on the move to seek sunlight. 221 pounds, 6 feet, 7 inches. That thing is bigger than me. But not heavier than me. <laughs> She it. Okay. Nope. And I wonder if that's it standing on its hind legs. Tail, yeah, that that would probably make more sense then, because it, it doesn't seem that tall. But I don't think you can get much much scale size. Also, the uh, the sprite. So the sprite now for the the Venusaur doesn't make much sense, because isn't it a big flower that's that's open sideways? Because it looks like the whole thing is tilted forward. And there's like... there's like, That's like a leap. I, I guess? Huh. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, it's just a mess. The sprite for Venusaur just like a mess. Looks like a mess. Uh... Sure. And like, like this is, that's the head and there's like an ear there maybe? And the, the flower just tilts forward? I, 
I don't know. Or is it sideways? Which way was I even going here? Shit. I think I was going this way. No more with you, dudes. Graveler. Okay, we haven't seen this one yet. All right. from episode one. area is not uh not great what I was hoping wouldn't have happened. <laughs> what? How are you supposed to about this? How many turns in a row is this? 
Okay. It missed. Finally. Good lord. That was like 20 turns. Was <laughs> All right. That's a triple slap. What? Okay. Sure. Yeah, of, of course I had to Oh, God. I, I was thinking in the back of my mind, hey, maybe I should heal before the next fight, and... Oh, God. I should probably buy a Paralyzed Heal next time I'm at a, a Pokemart. sure if I want to... So, the... as far as, like, backlog playthroughs, I've never played through Fallout 1 and 2 before, so those I definitely want to do. I'm unsure if I want to revisit Fallout 3, because I played through that one, the, the regular game. I haven't done any DLC for that one. Got the bell sprout again. I think I have to use the tackle for this. And the new Vegas and Fallout 4, I think I'm I'm good not revisiting those. Oh man. Yeah, I'm, uh, I, I played the demo for Fallout 1 when it came out, so I, I know what to expect with those. Like, I'm typically not into isometric RPGs, like, uh, like Baldur's Gate, um, those type of games, or I, I haven't been in the past, I'm willing to give them a go again, uh, especially if I'm planning on playing Fallout. Um, oh, finally. Oh, no! Okay. Alright, level 19. Do we have anything that can remotely stand up to... God. Yeah, I haven't played any of the Dollar's Gate games. I know that those are well regarded. Finally getting an opening. Please don't be paralyzed. Okay. All right. Please actually kill it. <gasps> All right. 
maybe, perhaps we can... All right, Paris. you, dude. You're probably gonna get killed in one hit, because this is... Alright, Zubat. Zubats wins this the game. Okay. Good. I wouldn't have guessed that a bell sprout would have been the biggest issue so far, but I'm I'm fine with clunky mechanics. Like, hey, I I just played through all the King's Quest games. <laughs> Those mechanics are pretty clunky too, right? So it'll be fine. And I'm and for backlog games, I'm I'm not opposed to uh, to pulling the shoot on um on a backlog game if I'm not feeling it, especially if it's one I was kind of iffy on. But, but we'll see. I figure that uh, there's there's got to be something to it, to those games, that I might as well give them a try, because I haven't really given the, the Baldur's Gate type games a, a, a proper try before. But it sounds like if I, if I don't like Baldur's Gate 1, then I probably won't like the rest of them either. So... I should probably give at least one of them a go. Holy pair again. Oh god. Uh, I played Sudeki. I played Sudeki on Xbox when it came out. It was pretty okay. Um I could play through it again in the backlog. I seem to remember enjoying that game. I think I have it on PC, and I think you bought it for me. <laughs> I think. I think I have it on Steam, but I probably just played the Xbox version because it's pretty much the same. I can't remember if I still have the the disc or the ISO on my Xbox. So I have to check my archives. Razor Leaf, did Razor Leaf just miss twice? Did Razor Leaf just miss twice in a row? Is that, was that? I don't think it's because he's paralyzed either. Because it, it would have said you're fully paralyzed. Oh, I got, okay, I got sand attack. That's fine. All right, that makes more sense. Man, these fights are getting way more annoying as the, we get more and more status effects going. Finally. Good lord. Alright, rock tunnel. 
so we're from the rock tunnel. So it's just south, it looks like. Got horrible music. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to buy Paralyze Heels. <laughs> I'm going to buy Paralyze Heels this time. No more getting paralyzed. Volunteer Pokemon House. Okay. Mr. Fuji. Psyduck. <laughs> We gotta get ourselves a Psyduck at some point. Grief Sight of Pokemon. Okay. So I, I think I remember getting stuck here before. Do you believe in ghosts? No. Ha ha ha. Uh, I have not beaten Surge yet, no. I got the, uh, I got on the ship, I got the cut ability, and then I just went straight here. And I, I believe Surge is, so according to this, Surge is in Vermilion City, and I did not do any of the, I did not do a gym in Vermilion City. Voucher for the bike, that's right. Great ball, super potion, revive. So, yeah, I am gonna have to go back there at some point. Paralyze you. No more getting paralyzed. Never again. So I seem to remember there was... So in here... There was like a spooky ghost at the top of the tower. But you can't do anything here. Alright, F's in chat for, for Pokemon. And you need like the polka flute, I think, or something, something like that, to, to do anything with that fight. Like it's a puzzle fight. Where it's up to mischief. And I'm okay. Well, here's here's Gary Oak. Oh, Sylph Scope, yeah, that's right. To make to make ghosts visible. Uh... Chizu with the polka doll? Wait, there's there's a way to glitch out the fight and and get past it? Hmm. Alright, Gary Oak. Part of the programming? Huh. Wait, so it is an intended solution? Oh, it's 
It's unintended? Okay. Huh. Should be able to to mine with a metal or not. Yeah, you're supposed to to go up the tower in one of the towns, I think, to get the silk scope. Or it's that it's that Silfco Silfco building, I think. Surprisingly, having a pretty easy time with the, the Gary fights. Maybe it's because I was using Squirtle every single time I played this, and Squirtle just gets blown up by, uh, by Bulbasaur. So we we can't do anything here yet because because yeah we don't have a silk scope and I don't think there's I don't think I have to go up to the the spooky spooky ghost yet I can just go straight to the silk company which is uh what west of here. So there's, I, I believe there's another tunnel. Uh, so we're we're in Lavender Town, and yeah, there's another tunnel to Celadon, and that's where uh, the Silco building is, I think. So that's that's where we're going next, I guess. All right. cave and hopefully we don't need flash in this one. Okay. Alright. Another cave somewhere. Rambling gambling dude. Eh? This should be fine. We're 11 levels up.
almost fine. Don't burn me. Yep, Pokemon. I want to show you my Pokemans. My Pokemans, let me show you them. That was a, a dank meme in 2005, I think. I think that was a cat meme back then. And that predates, or maybe that was an owl meme. I can't remember. It's been a while. breeding at 800 eggs in SWSH. I don't know what any of those words mean, but okay. Great <laughs> uh, selection. Okay. Alright, any cool items here? Oh, Sword and Shield, that's a new one. Alright, I know what two, uh, two of those words mean. Now. Flippy Pokemon, dear Celadon. Oh, and that's what we need the flute for. For waking up Snorlax. Alright. Town is east of here, I think. Thirsty guards that uh, that we need to give drinks. I can edit. Actually, I'm gonna call it here too because it's it's, it's 4:20. We need to. I need to blaze it in bed. And yeah, we've been streaming for almost seven hours. All right. So I'm gonna make sure to save the game here <laughs> to the Mister so that we don't lose all that progress. Okay. That probably saved. Let's uh, let's actually reboot the Mister and, and see if it did. Let's make sure. <clears throat> so if you've never seen it before, this is the Mister FPGA. By the way, it's a special little circuit board, like single board computer. That um, it's like a hardware emulator, so it can actually like uh, it can emulate a 486 on this little little board. That's about as big as a smartphone. That's got HDMI and VGA and uh, um, some analog outputs to it. So if you wanted to like have a virtual Commodore 64, this thing can do it. Like here, we just opened the, the Commodore 64 core for it. And then it boots into Commodore 64. So if you hook up a USB keyboard to it, you can... It's, it, for all intents and purposes, it is a, an actual Commodore 64 that uh, that is hooked up. Um, 
So all those are hardware emulated. All these con uh, arcade systems are. And then for console, all of these emulated on the hardware level. Uh, so it means I don't have to buy a Sega CD because this thing will actually hardware emulate a Sega CD. Um, <laughs> uh, and, uh, I wouldn't have, have RGB modded my NES or my Super Nintendo or bought flashcards for any of those, uh, had this thing come out before I did that. <laughs> so I could have saved about, oh God, probably a thousand dollars, uh, in all the the modifications and flashcards for those systems, had a had this thing been out when I uh, bought all of that stuff. Okay, so we're gonna load up the Game Boy Core here and load up Poker Man, and then hope all my progress is there. Let's see. Once the signal pops in here. No signal, huh? Alright, well you have to take my word for it. Promising two badges, 452. That looks correct. Okay, yes. It did save. Excellent. <laughs> we didn't lose all of our progress. Okay. All right. So that'll uh, that'll do it for today's Poker Man session. Then. All right. So let me turn off the Mister here, so I don't have to listen to Pokemon. All right. So tonight we finished up PS Explosion number 199, Cardinal Sin. Uh, the next PS Explosion game is uh, uh, Rhapsody. Yeah, Rhapsody. Uh, strategy RPG. That one's probably going to take a while, I'm guessing. I have no idea, but I'm, I'm guessing it will take a while. And then after that one is Gunship, which won't take long at all because it's a shovelware 96 flight combat game on the PlayStation. Uh, and then Pokemon, I, I have no idea how much left we have in Pokemon. We're five hours in, um, probably another 10, maybe 10 hours left on Pokemon. I'm not sure, but, but yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. And I'm enjoying my time with Pokemon. It's a great game, but yeah, that'll do it for tonight. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day, night, morning, or evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you next time when I stream. It's probably going to be tomorrow because I'm. I don't have anything else to do tomorrow night. So let's count on a stream tomorrow night, shall we? All right. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.